Hello, what's happening everybody? Hope you're having a beautiful and amazing day. So nice to be back from our vacation. Thank you all for the great one. Very excited to get back in the swing of things. Thank you all for the support as we kick this thing off again. We'll be starting with the Splunky 2 Daily and we'll take it from there. Hope you're all having an awesome afternoon. Let's head on in and see where the day takes us. Somewhere fun, I'm sure. Alright, before I get uh, started on all these subs and resubs, just going to get loaded into the game here. What's up, Gavin Azo, Sirius Aganza, Meltorfus, what's up, Kinster, Ginger Locks, Crit Spence, Terror Kittens, hey there, Robotic Crow, Dire Crow, good to see you, Sargos, hey there, Goofling, Terror Kittens, Goodbye, Blue Sky, Zykros, up Nate D313. Hey there, Ferret Bomb, Dave Star in a jar, Blurg Sauce, British. That's good. Kabar. What's up, Matt Toons, Bijo, 10 more push ups. What's up, Jean? Slimy Yoshi, Canaletto, Bardic Entropy. Hey there, Calendar Man, Youthful Porpoise. Raja Bull, Dope Fish. That's good. Dan Katz, a Reggae, Brand Lore. Uh, Gindy, bro, it's Brian. What's up, Athene, Samuso, and all the rest. Hope you're all having a nice one. Let me get caught up with this uh, immense amount of support before I've even done anything yet. All I've done was turn on the stream. Sam Dabbers, thanks for 41. Gindy, 25. Dopefish, 91 months and a tier 3 sub. Thank you, dude. Corpse Necromus, 83. Sammy, thanks for 56. Krajabool, 79. Youthful Porpoise, thanks for those bits. British, 66. 39 months. Dave, 24. Ferret Bomb, 104 months. Robotic Crow, thanks for that very generous 5 gifts sub package. Star in a jar, 16. Terror Kittens, 250 bits. Loose Minded, 87. Chris Spence, 40. Kite P1, thanks for four months. Time Fire 86 and TP Nils, thanks for eight months, dude. Thank you. All right, let's get some penguin in the hole going, huh? Here we go. Okay, doesn't count. Didn't go into the uh, the hole there. Is fair. There we go. Get over here, you cricket. Oh, I got a snail. Nice. That'll do. All right, buddy. This guy right here. Get over here, yeah, you cricket. Oh my god. World's most elusive cricket right here. This guy. What a guy. All right, Rafi, here's the thing. Gotcha. Close enough. All right, let's get into the daily and uh, do it up. Hey, T Mac, thanks for five months. Homeless Messiah, thanks for 55. Idolized DT, 89. Thank you, thank you. Gotta adjust this cord real quick. All right, here we go. Okay, we're not getting that. You got any info on this daily? Feel free to share it. I'm gonna be de-rusting a little bit, that's for sure. All right, let's bring our rock with us. That's a dead end. <laughs> what a toss. Interesting. 
That is a tough way to go right there. All right, so we're going to do this. Bombs are nice. All right, well, um, that store symbol means there could be a jetpack here. Ooh, okay, okay. Me like. There is a jetpack here, okay. Cool. Turkey Town right here? It's gotta be, right? Right now... Not quite enough. Okay, let's do this. We're at 131 right now. I'm gonna throw a rope. I'm also going to bomb Yang here. Right in the corner. Let's tame this turkey. This way we can get Kapala this level, which will be nice. the key go. It's right there. Scene. Okay, cool. We can get jetpack naturally now, which is good. Um, here we are. All right, Kapala gets. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Got time. All right, ton shop with glove. All right, all right. Let's put a little pep in our step right now. How much? 72. Okay. okay. We're just gonna rob this store then. Oh no. Oh no. We're dead. Fair enough. Oh, that was the daily. Let's go again. Let's go again. I should have just cracked the ghost urn first there. Got a little greedy for it. That'll happen. All right, we got all caught up here once again. You all going ham on this return stream. Homeless Messiah, thanks for 55 months. Idolized DT, thanks for 89. Homsy, 29. Mad Process, 6 months. Fan Q, thanks for 3. Nate's, 32. Sheep of the Night, 64. Critty Cat, thanks for 77. And Bunny Wild, thanks for 1,000 bits. Appreciate that. All right, here we go. Actually, let's grab a new character here that's not Jay, since we're not on the daily. All right, who do? Let's go, uh, let's go for Tina here. Yeah, that's fair, Mr. Skeleton Man, that's fair.
Hmm. Thinking about controls right now. Been messing around with the various controls for Spelunky. Trying to settle on something I want to use. You know what? I'm going to try this real quick. Hold on. I'm going to put attack on square. I'm going to put bomb on circle. I think that makes sense. Let's go. Okay, while we're at it, let's try this. All right, I'm going to go for, um, put use door by on R2 then. And then I'm going to put rope back on L2. I like rope on L2 a lot. Always a bit of a brain buster when you initially change controls, but uh, I got this. All right, can I get this uh, this guy out here? Or is he just like stuck? Pretty stuck. Okay, let's try it again. You can do it, buddy. I believe in you, Mr. Mole. I believe in you. I mean... That puts it exactly, but pretty close, right? <laughs> okay, here we go. It's good. Um, all right. Okay, skeleton key, not bad. We're already at 1 minute 35 seconds. Let's put a little pep in our step here. I can technically use this turkey to get back up. Technically. Yeah, we're not getting to turkey town here, are we? I'm gonna buy the spectacles. I hear you, pup. I hear you. Hmm. I think I just need to let this altar go, huh? Yeah, I think so. I think so. All right, here we go. Gotta be like this. Okay, let's just try here. What did I have on square before? Okay. Turkey saved my life, dude. Okay, here's the key. Let's just toss this down here. 
Hmm. Oh, it's right behind. Okay. That's tough. So I think I'm best off going through here right now. Here's that. Hmm. That's just really tough to get to, dang. That's how it had to be. <laughs> okay, here we go. Nah. I think that did it. That looks good. What's in here? Okay, maybe I shouldn't have gone down here just yet. Lucky that didn't go off the edge. 246, huh? Uppers is right there, good. Let's go. Dude, absolute bonanza today, Mr. BG. Thanks for 48 months. Catbird, thanks for 89. Cardenas, thanks for 57. Tharson, 15. Kurt Soon, 76. Cypher Knight, 52. Pay the Piper, 9 months. File Nor, 60. Rain, the Red Nose Reindeer, thanks for 20, dude. And Reginald, thanks for 44. It is restrictive in a way, Brondo, but um, only if you mismanage your resources, when in which case you've restricted yourself. That particular spawn was pretty tough, though. Seventeen G's right now. Let's work our way towards the junkie. All right, looks good. I'm just going to check over here for money real quick, see if we can get to the jungle in a good amount of cash. Kind of have stuff to go Volcana, but not really. Okay, nothing back here.
Oh. Oh, I left my damsel up top. No, I didn't. Alright, you can help out, I guess. I guess. Yo, Reginald, thanks for 44 in Mythic Applesauce. Thanks for 62 months. Alright, there's Pepperoni Mans. Alright, this guy can help out too, I guess. How about instead of doing that, you take a snooze? Yeah, or whatever. Just hang out over there, that's fine. Okay, cool. Paste right here. Like that. Aim are off. And yes, thank you all for those well wishes. My vacation was uh, busy, but good. I enjoyed it. Got a lot of, uh, lot of tasks accomplished, which is nice. Okay. Looks like we're getting Kapala here. Awesome. Juicy cup get. Okay, we got super early black market. Let's see if we can uh, peep the entrance from here. That's definitely not it. So that probably means that the black market entrance is somewhere on the right-hand side. That'd be a good guess. Alright, I saw a witch doctor down there. Oh my goodness, this guy has a nice jump, Mr. Monkeyman. Nice jump. Okay, I heard that blip. I did. It's going to be over here somewhere. Here? Yes. Might come back out for jelly. We'll see. We'll see. Well, buying Hanji seems very unlikely. It seems even less likely now. Bombs for days, love it. Hey, spring and gloves, like those two. Ooh, and a matic, interesting. Um, two and a half minutes, huh? Just gonna pass on the matic. See if there's any cashola in here. Definitely willing to use a bomb or two here to get uh, those ropes as well. All right, that'll do.
<laughs> of course there's a bunch of cobwebs. Why wouldn't there be? Alright, you know what? Sorry, sorry there, Mr. Hammy Hams. I'm out of here. Yo, my cancer bra, thanks for 22 months. Garbanzo, thanks for 47. Shadow fan, thanks for 80. Shining 7, 91 months. And Rudigo, thanks for 26. Thank you. Okay, well, those bombs would be nice, but I don't need them. Getting the challenge is much more important. In fact, I should just submit to using some bombs if I need to to get the money here. bomb here. Nice. Where are you at, kitty cat? Alright, I'll bomb here too. Okay, how much money do I need still? Just about 2,500. No bigs. That. <laughs> All right, this will do it. Back up we go. Normally, a uh, post-black market wouldn't be going for so much cash here, but I am going to try to cash out on this challenge because we're so low, and we do have to do the uh, other challenge here in a couple levels. All right, so... This means that the bow is way over on this side. There it is. Nice. I mean, we're here. That'll do. Just a little extra jelly. Yo, Rodigo, thanks for 26 months, and Scurvy Yeti, thanks for 46. A little water here in between the levels. Water is good. Maybe the best. In fact, it is the best. Your voice echoes in here. Uh-oh. Alright, no thanks on that. Well, is that sister up here? Oh, triple witch doctor. I'm good. I'm good. Hmm. Tell me the possibility the sister is up there. Think about it. It's looking more likely she is. I'm gonna check this out. Bloop. Alright, uh, definitely don't need a shrine here, and sister's not there, so bottom, bottom left is looking very likely. Hey there, duder. Oh, 
Hey, cool. Well, never mind, not cool. Huh. Where is she? There she is. That sets us up for some primo Olmec in the hole. I'm ready. Ready. Let's grab the statue on our way down, too. We're here. Okay, there is a crate right here. Let's try to grab that. Ooh, spicy. Let's do it again. One more time. There we go. Let's take a look here. All right, no more crates. Yo, Andre versus World, thanks for 29. Warhamster, thanks for 20. Thank you all for that wonderful support on our return stream here. Appreciate it very much. Take this one to Tide Pool. All right, last hole to dig. Don't worry, Tina's got her hard hat on. It's safe. Oh, there, dude. That was dangerous. That was dangerous. Spiders? No, thank you. What's our money situation right now? 50,000. That's that's all right. That's all right. I can do it. This should leave plenty enough to do Tusk and get the the challenge unless we have a really bad gambling session, which that's not going to happen, right?
Here we go. Excuse me. All right, get over here, you Jang Shi. Not you, Mr. Fish. Not you. All right, whatever, guys. Okay, I'll be over here, then. Here's the madame. All right, machete. Let's see what you did there. Or... Am I too far away? I was too far away. Hover pack, all right. Mitt's nice, I like that. Hour pack. I'll stick with hover pack for right now, I think. Is that a shrine? Sure is. I'm going to rescue Puppermans from below here. But first, this guy. Here we go. Yo, ZMC, thanks for six months. Appreciate that continuation. Koweki, thanks for three, dude. Thank you. Die, floppy fish. You flipped your last flop, you son of a gun. Okay, that's fair. You've won. Alright, with no, um, sword here, I think I'm just going to take the clone gun with us. Let's just do that. I don't feel like whipping the fish 40 times. Saw the entrance there. Let's just get the clone gun dropped off. Cool rope here. Oh no. Wow. No, I'm dead. <laughs> there is no getting out of that one. Maybe whipping would have done it. I'm not sure. Anybody been in a situation like that? Can you whip in that situation? Oh, okay, the hover pack still exists. That's nice. Okay, let's just put this down right here. Yeah, walking forward definitely would have activated, I'm sure, on that. 
think whipping was the best try, but I think since we were on top of the trap, it would have snapped it, because if when you whip a trap, it snaps whatever is next to it, or on top of it currently. So I do believe we were just doomed there. Okay, let's check this out. fair. Get out of here, floppy fish. Yes, I tried jumping there, so I was definitely uh, live on top of the bear trap, but any left or right movement would have activated it, and as we just saw there, up movement as well. Let's catch in this cord right now. Okay. Be good. I think I'm just going to bomb here since we have the clone gun active. What do we got here? Smiling Jade Onk. Smiling Jade Onk is the one. Hey, Bunch007, thanks for 14 months. Encoder Paws, thanks for 31. That's a convenient uh, pepperonis here. is Waddler. That looks like Waddler right here. That gray stone was the giveaway. Okay, let's go here. Oh, What? Really? Okay, that was surprising. Uh, Parsley apparently does not like you throwing a bomb on the same level. Actually, that's Parmesan, excuse me. Trying to envision that in my mind there. That was uh, a surprising death. So, we were still in the range if you throw a bomb near Parmesan. I'm going to guess the box for that is the same as the size of the... Uh, area where the sister spawns. Hey, well, we learned something from that death, so I can't be upset at it. Now we know. All right, let's slide into uh, some runs of Nova Drift now. I'm playing a little bit of Nova Drift on my vacation, not too much, but this new uh, this new patch is really, really good. I'm going to do a couple builds I like here, I think, and then a couple builds uh, I don't know about yet. Here we go. Alright, capture looks good.
Yeah, thanks to the clip there, T-Mac, for anybody that wants to review that. I understand why I died there, just <laughs> was not expecting it. Oh, let's re-roll here. Let's get a salvo build going for our first build today. Let's go for Halo Shield. I think I'm intending on dropping my shields on this build. We'll see about that. We get all cut up before I actually start this run here. Bunch 007, thanks for 14 months. Coder Pause 31. Chetafine, thanks for 76. Real Deal 52. And Master Chops 29. Appreciate that. All right, I want to do Architect. Architect. So Architect, Constructs you deploy a 50% improved damage, rate of fire, assembly speed, uh, extra hull for Constructs, blast radius, and mine effects. So we're going to go for a Loaded Mines Architect. Gotta say, these orange missiles look really good. I like. <laughs> Swing it, I miss. Well, to begin here, I'm going to take anything that gets us towards Warp Strike, so that's this right here. Will not make our early game easier, but Salvo, Salvo manages pretty well with minimal offensive upgrades, in my experience. Okay, there's mines. I'll probably take that. Yeah, thanks for that. Get the game swapped right now. All right, so uh, we saw that we get... Bonus mine damage, 50% mine effect. So there's gonna be some pretty big mines, which is actually great damage here. All right, there's loaded mines already. Awesome. So now our mines will have our our weapon inside of them. So we're gonna get a continual firing of homing missiles. That's good. Let's take a look at mines here. Loaded mines even. The number of weapon instances produced by loaded mines is determined by your rate of fire and projectile count. Alrighty then. I'm going to hold out for streamline on this tree. Let's go ahead and uh, add some rate of fire right now. That'll be more missiles. Yes, McCasper, I am playing with mouse and keyboard right now. Uh, I think both control schemes are fine. I just like switching things up. Oh, dude, Mine Specialist this early? Uh, yes. So, Mine Effect in this case is going to be how many projectiles come out of the loaded mine. And we also get extra mine assembly speed, so this increases the rate of missiles spawning probably by about 35%. That's good. This is Streamline. Okay, I'm gonna grab Streamline right now because it gets us towards this blink. And I think with just the loaded Mine Specialist mines, we're good for clearing waves for at least through the first boss. Oh, 
Okay, here's another thing that works towards uh, Warp Strike. The reason I want to push Warp Strike right now in this build is because the loaded mines I can get, um, since they happen in a, a radius, we'll be able to loop back through the, um, the map. I would say Salvo and Warp Strike works pretty well together overall, but especially with this loaded mines build. Okay, there's Snipe. Nice. We are two perks away. Well, one perk away from having Warp Strike in the pool. Awesome. There's Blink. There it is. Okay, now we have Warp Strike in the pool. Like, as early as you can get it, pretty much. That's good. A very interesting play here could be to go Heavy Caliber. Mm, I think I'm going to re-roll here, though. Let's do a roll. Okay, let's add an extra projectile here because Loaded Mines goes off of amount of projectiles and fire rate. So let's be more missiles out of the Loaded Mines. Seems good. Next recursive wild mind is gained an additional two times. I'm in. Hey, thank you, Mr. Smee. Appreciate that. Hope you've been uh, enjoying as well. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and grab elegant construction now. So this gives us extra Construct Assembly Speed, which is our mines, and we get additional Construct Assembly Speed per level. So as part of the Architect ship type here, uh, each time we deploy a new mine, it explodes the previous one, and you can only have one Construct out at a time. So the faster Assembly Speed we get, the more missiles are being produced automatically by the uh, loaded mines. You can see here our rate of um, applications already quite good. That was a very silly volley. Nice little one cycle there, that felt good. Alright, how about this? Since we're uh, set up pretty well here, uh, I'm going to save up for Ataraxia now, which will give us better um, XP absorption radius. We need at least four upgrade points in order for Ataraxia to appear in the pool, so we're going to save up to five upgrade points. And I'm only able to do this because our build is like really, really good for what we've received so far. Normally not getting mine specialists and all this other stuff this early. Oh, ow. Thought that was the kill. How about some good XP wave here? Anytime you'd like, game. I even just go for a reroll here on this. Huh. I'll wait till we're at five.
Get all caught up with your support on this next level up. It's happening here in just a moment. This will do it, I think. Not quite. Yikes. That'll do it right here. That's some good XP. Okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a uh, blast radius here. All right, here's warp strike. So let's actually grab warp strike and then I'll re-roll for uh, ataraxia after this next upgrade. You can see that our missiles are now warping through the screen, which is a uh, massive additional damage. The main downside to warp strike here is that. If we warp through the screen, we lose a uh, percentage of our health and shields. Definitely worth the downside for this build, especially. Let's zip in here. All right, look at all these legends right here. Thank you so much, everybody, for this huge support on our return stream. Fast as Panda, thanks for 93 months. NJ Oni, 70. Faf, thanks for 11. Hey, Daisy, can you not do that up there? Thanks. Attacking the curtain. Like a good kitty would. Little Tiger, thanks for 94 months. Justinus, 106. Uh, Mefo, thanks for that tier 2 19 month subscription. Peripheral, 90 months. And Watering Can, 911. Thanks for four months, dude. Yeah, Warp Strike and Salvo is kind of like bread and butter. It just goes together so good. trying to save up a bit here and not use my rerolls. Although I could use rerolls to try to force Ataraxia right now. The screen's not that big, so getting it's not like a big of a deal. Okay, Leaf on the Wind. That's true. That's true. Um, I'm gonna keep saving. Ooh, that's a that's a nasty wave right there. We'll grab Leaf on the Wind. It's minus size. It's probably the better bonus. But if I go at one minute without taking damage, uh, we get global damage of 50%, which seems like it's massive, but you're almost always constantly taking damage in this game. But a good way to look at that is you're always receiving some percentage of global damage for that. Yep. Yeah. Okay, the other mod should be out of the pool now so i'm gonna do a re-roller three here until i see ataraxia there it is oh but stonks but stonks all right let's take the we're gonna take the stonks here too good That mod's too good to pass up. Like, we got we got to get this. It's got to happen. I guess I'm just going to be stockpiling upgrades here. I don't want to be, but my build is quite superior for the level we're at. We're needing Ataraxia is going to be a reality of the build. Since we're killing so much stuff on the side of the screen, that extra absorption rate's good. But the screen isn't so far zoomed out now that I can't collect everything. It's going to be conscious of that. Ooh, what a wave. What a wave. Okay. Let's go regeneration. Okay, we're gonna take magnitude next, I guess.
So there's basically two ways to build this. I can go for Burst Fire, which adds a uh, fire rate, which gives us more projectiles, or I can go Twin Strike, which will reduce our recovery, but add a lot more projectiles uh, to the Salvo Mines. I've been enjoying the Burst Fire route more, because it does not have the downside of minus um, recovery. Magnitude just all good. <laughs> oh man. Heavy caliber is another consideration here. Um let's try this with heavy caliber. I haven't take, taken burst fire yet. So we'll lose out on some fire rate, but we only have one instance of knockback currently, so this works. And I mean this will effectively be a 42% damage upgrade. Um, in addition to this being a nice upgrade for the weapon, on top of that, it gets minus velocity, which improves the inherent homing on Salvo, because slower projectile um, has an easier time turning towards its target. I'm in, and then we'll take Splinter as well. All right. Now, for all purposes, really should be good on just letting the uh, the mines fire for a minute. If we get a real nasty wave, I can fire my main volley. That was nice. Okay, that knockback's pretty intense. Yeah, it really feels like right now I don't even need to uh, grab the the homing upgrade for the missiles. We can just use a slower missile with the inherent upgrade. Or inherent um, homing value. Okay. So right now if I took um, double tap, it'd be real bad because then there'd be two instances of the knockback, which is times six here from the heavy caliber. Let's go ahead and grab uh, efficiency. Yo, whale noises. Thanks for 16 months and anodyne. Thanks for 34. Let's go here. There it is, finally. Okay, now we can spend our upgrades. I'm going to drop our shield right now to get passive regeneration, get plus plating here, uh, and extra hull. Thirty-five percent damage bonus as missiles are blast damage. Yes. Okay, regeneration rate looks pretty good. Hmm, I think I can probably live without Terminate, and I'm not going Essence Sap here either, though Essence Sap is a way to regenerate. Uh, not a big fan of any of these. Let's go ahead and roll. Let's grab Maximum Hole. Let's grab Absorption, which adds Plating. Plating is a flat value reduction for all damage, so if we get enemies that are doing a lot of very small damage, it helps a lot. Yeah, here we go, here we go. Discord, it's gonna give us some orbs um, going around the ship. Oh man, these orbs look awesome with the Halo Shield. Love it. These automatically attack and really add a good value for defense too. Oh hey, we're on wave 100 already? That's cool. I am going to take targeting. If I see it. Ooh, okay, this guy's nasty. 
So this guy uh, charges up a blast on the front if you deal damage to the shield in the front of the, the ship. Pretty scary, especially later game. Hmm. Can definitely see Calibrate being all right here. Go and take another defensive pick, though, and adaptive armor. Give us a percentage damage reduction each time we take damage, which is going to happen. All right, force armor, 10% hull damage resistance with no shield. That's an insta-pick for me. Yeah, thanks. It looks like the game change didn't go through. Good catching that. Thank you. Not convinced I want payload yet. It's good, but the minus rate of fire means less missiles, but more splinters. Probably want this after we take targeting. Let's go ahead and get channeling here. Uh, channeling gives us increased regeneration when we have armor stacks. So when we take damage, we gain percentage damage reduction for a short time, and we also gain additional regeneration. Alright, build's pretty dreamy at the moment. It's looking pretty good. Doesn't mean it's gonna last, but it's good right now. Rupture is very non-offensive here. Let's go ahead and take Rupture, in fact. Singularity detected. I'm going to go into the Singularity because I want to not lose my XP. rolling here? I think I am. All right, evolutionary niche is a uh, consideration because architects uh unique powers are 50% mine effects and 50% assembly speed. So we get 5% assembly speed and 5% mine effect for taking the evolutionary niche. I think I'm sold on that. Yeah, I need targeting for these missiles to be uh, fully available. 
Could also end up taking like one or two more heavy calibers to achieve a similar effect. So there's definitely a point where your missiles become a little too slow. That does take a while though. Probably four or five heavy calibers away from that moment. That was a nice little uh, breather there. I enjoyed that. You know, I'm going to take Charge Shot, but I'm not going to grab Charge Mine, so it has a little bit of a weird interaction with Architect, and I'm using Auto Deploy. But this will give us a massive damage increase when we do fire our volley. Or potentially. The nice part about Charge Shot is you don't have to use it. I can just fire my normal volley, or I can charge up and release it, which will be um, nice on some of the larger HP enemies. Oh yeah, good call there, Coda, that we did banish out uh, Heavy Caliber. Um because we took the multiplier mod. I forgot that effect on that one. Definitely the case. Six will be plenty. The cool thing about Charge Shot 2 with, um, with Salvo is that Splinter is based on projectile size, so the Charge Shot is creating many more Splinters. So in addition to the up to 30% charge damage we get, we also get um, more splinters. So probably closer to 50% damage up on a full charge. Excuse me real quick, just going to use the restroom and uh, we'll be back into our run. Yo, Koda PDX, thanks for 94 months and Freeze Dime 14, thanks for 96. It's returning momentarily for the continuation of this run. Awesome banana dance there, Freeze. Nice. Alrighty. Oh, let's see what we got here. First, I got to tab back into the game. There we go. I'm definitely uh, liking the idea of core shielding, if only for the armor stack duration. But uh, this is projectile, rate of fire, size, and damage. So really, it's about probably a 15% damage increase. Maybe we're closer to 12%, but I'm taking that right now. Thing with super mods, if you don't take them, they just continue showing up over and over again. Singularity detected. You know what? Um, okay. Gonna let this one slide by. Goodbye, XP. I'll miss you.
Celestial is an enemy type I'm not willing to hold my volleys on. Give me an enemy worthy of releasing this volley, please. That'll do. All right, what do we got here? All right, burst fire is an unmitigated disaster for us because we get three instances of the knockback. We go flying across the screen. No, thank you. Mm, adrenal module when I take hypermetabolism is good. Well, it certainly doesn't hurt anything right now. Do one reroll here. Uh, let's do another reroll here. What is this? Uh, minus thrust and rotation speed. That's concerning right now. I'm going to try to do this without grandeur. One more. All right, right back where we started then. I guess I'm going to go for adrenal module. <laughs> Big bottom boom. It's nice. Okay, I'm not going loaded mines. Let's do a reroll. Okay, I'm going to take projectile targeting right now. JK, I'm taking another evolutionary niche. Another 5% um, construction speed for the mines. As well as extra mine effects. Let's just more missiles. I guess I'll hold then. Well, I may want to consider going for power reserves. Uh, this way I could fully charge my, my missile shot. So basically, once we get past about wave 200, if we survive till then, the enemies start getting a lot faster in rotation speed and movement speed uh, and ability activation. So having the slowdown on that is tough. Let's take core shielding now. It's just extra base hull and armor stack duration, which is a big deal since we're getting damage reduction and regeneration off of each armor stack. You know, just looking at this build, I'm now realizing how long it takes for charge shot to actually fully charge. It's a long time. Well, kinetic boost is very non-offensive. It's extra global damage just for moving around, which we're going to be doing pretty much constantly. The nice part about this is it affects the damage of missiles that are already in the air. So after we fire and start boosting around, missiles that are persisting on the screen are also gaining global damage. It's not a lot, but it's enough. 
Okay, this is, uh, this is terrifying. Okay, I'm alive. Wave 200 is always a doozy. That was a very tough combo. Some good choices here. I don't really want the minus 10% thrust. Twin Strike is, is good because it would give us an extra stockpile per uh, stockpile rate and also add more to the uh, loaded mines. But the minus 7% recovery rate means that we are regenerating hull at a lower um, percentage. One of these with after I take hyper metabolism is probably pretty not offensive. Um, I'm thinking maybe just taking the targeting here might even be better. No, let's go ahead and take one Twin Strike. Just one. Whoa, dude. Where am I? Okay. I almost died. Red a tent tent. Yo, thank you all for this hype train and hype trains on our return stream here. Let me get caught up. Citizen Stranger, thanks for 18 months. Aventus, thanks for 30. Exclusive 33. Casually challenged 76. And the double gift sub, extrusive thanks to the gift to Four Wheel Gator 30A and Marty Khan. Thanks for 12 months as well. Appreciate that. Uh, calibrate's like not bad here. What does this do? Is there a super mod for charge and calibrate? There's something like that? like there might be okay charge shot absorption is ranker no I was misremembering yo excuse me thanks for that gift to stream cash Three months and Joseph, thanks for 42. Hope you all enjoy the emote unlocks associated with that hype train. Let's roll here. You know, I think now is pretty good time to take payload. It's gonna make some big bada boom missiles coming out of those mines. Where am I? I lost track of my ship.
Oh, look at these little fellers. Sorry, guys. No little fellers allowed. a pretty great opening run. You know what? I'm, I'm diving here. I don't want to lose XP right now. Please don't kill me. Got a, a decent wave here. Try to get behind this feller. Go. Dude, these bulwarks are like continuing to spawn during this wave. Scary, dude. I think Aegis is all right here because 2.5 seconds to reach 15% whole damage resistance. That's like. Pretty good. It's certainly a damage reduction of some sort. Thank you, Blink. that reroll from you're gonna notice this guy is turning a lot faster this is where having additional thrust is um, important later tater adjust my uh, keyboard here one sec. We're reaching high intensity mode during the run. Sip of coffee sounds good too. Guess who likes watching uh, Nova Drift? How you doing, Gail? She loves Nova Drift. What a bop this song is. Oh, some real cute uh, Hype Train emote set right this time. Hope y'all enjoy those unlocks. All right, back to the run. Back to the pit. The pit this time happens to be full of missiles, if you didn't notice. Jeez, so fast right now. Oh, we got. Defiance isn't bad for an additional, um, well, weapon recoil resistance and plating. this celestial lance emergency systems that's no good let's go ahead and take a defiance here i'm down 
It feels like our, our offense is adequate as long as we can survive uh, dodging in the waves, <laughs> at least for now. Eventually that will not be a case, because uh, all runs in this game do end in a death, at least for this mode. Wave 260. Oh no, fine. Ish, fine ish. All right, I want to see hyper metabolism now. Did I ever end up taking targeting here? Oh no. Celestial scary. Scary enemy. I'm gonna save my charge here till the shield's down, huh? Get blasted. Oh, we have a couple of size downs on this. What's our size downs on this ship right now? Leaf in the winds, minus 10% size. Is that it? Streamline as well. Streamline is a... I thought stream... Oh, yeah, minus 10% size. So we have a minus 20% size on the ship right now. Um, no, no winnow on this one, which would be an additional size down. Regression, because also a size down too, which we don't have. I don't feel as if losing 10% thrust is a viable strat right now, even for the extra plating weapon damage. Um, rolling? Looking for heightened metabolism. Let's go ahead and grab targeting. Some of my projectiles are definitely looping and not uh, hitting enemies, so this should stop that. Did I get him? Oh no. Oh no. We did not. And that shield is mega charged. Yeah, probably the reason it looks small to you, uh, Sir Morak, is as part of the enemy's 2.0 update, the battlefield increases in size the longer the waves have gone on. So in addition to our base um, size down, the ship also is smaller on the screen due to the larger playfield. Which, by the way, was a genius solution to uh, clutter in this game. Really, really awesome idea and well implemented. Alright, this is not good. This might be it right here, in fact. Yep. So that's a particularly tough uh, enemy combination because I have to dodge the railgun by going side to side and the shield also does that AoE attack. So we eventually end up in front of the bulwark. Our best play on that one was to target uh, this guy exclusively, but I went for him instead. Okay, that was a cool run and quite effective. Almost made our leaderboard. Unfortunate enemy combo into, uh, well, it's the way it is. All right, let's do another one here. That was my first time doing Heavy Caliber on that style of run, and uh, I think that's a pretty effective strat. Alright, let's do some darts here. Kinda want Shockwave. Actually, let's go for a uh, Reflect here. Reflect is a really high base shield. Let's 
So darts take really well the weapon upgrades, but the nice part is you don't really need a lot of weapon upgrades for darts to be effective. Alright, battery... Weapon damage and projectile size. Minus rate of fire. 0 0.075 second rate of fi fire delay. Um, let's go for Firefly here. So Firefly has uh, burners that do mass damage to the enemies, but self damage resist and whole crash damage resistance. Two very nice effects. Also, 140 starting thrusts. That's uh, that's cool. That's a lot of speed. All right, I've been on uh, loaded mines a lot lately. Let's get off that for a minute. Just do a more standardized uh, dart build here. Jeez, we're fast. All right, we got volley and targeting. That's a really great start for darts, the two you want. Yeah, I like Firefly. I've been using it lately. I've been uh, definitely doing architect and engineer stuff, but uh, Firefly is an amazing ship, uh, if only for the opening mobility. Really effective. I think with this, I'm just going to save up my upgrades to get Ataraxia right now. Be doing some maybe uh, siege weaponry shenanigans on this one. I don't know. We'll just let the build tell us what it wants to do. Other than Ataraxia, I'm going to force that right now because um, it's just the way it is. Oh, that has like a really good AoE, the the blaster, or the um, thrusters. Whoa, double loose snake? Hell yeah. All about it. I got this. What are we going to do? Um, Let's go for... Think about not going for Warp Strike on this build. Let's try to go Warp Strikeless, and if that's the case, I can probably just use the Improved Thrust to not take Improved Thrusters. Let's go ahead and take Regeneration here. Okay, cool. It showed up nice and early for us. Beautiful. Okay, Magnitude. Uh, this is basically a 35% damage increase in one upgrade. Okay. Okay. Hell, Drone Specialist, even as a one-off, is pretty sick. Sign me up. Alright, I like Homing Strike on darts a lot. It's good for clearing out the riffraff. Good at clearing asteroids and does add percentage damage. So darts give extra damage per dart stuck in the enemy. So even though the um, damage on the homing shot darts is greatly diminished, it's still really good. So it's adding percentage damage to our other full size darts while they're active. All right, terminate. I'm in. It's going to be an Essence Sap uh, Gemini type deal.
Maybe not Gemini if I go... I'm waffling here. I'm waffling. I'm going to get all caught up with your support after this next level up. Just thank you all for that immense support for our return stream today. It was a real nice uh, staycation. Got a lot done. Very productive. Very much appreciate the opportunity to take a twice yearly vacation. Get time to reflect on the experience has been and come back to this in the best mood possible. It was a good one. But glad to be here right now doing this thing once again. 2,715 shows as of today. Yo, voice, thanks for that tier two sub, 73 months. Patsy, thanks for 61. Spartan, thanks for three. Kai's Duck, thanks for two months. Matthew, 895, 33. Iceman Chad, 94. And Nighthawk, 72, 93. Thanks for 53 months. Thank you. Uh, is anybody, any Nova Drift legend in the chat know if regenerative shields is effect, affects essence sap? I feel like um, it didn't. I feel like we can take this in essence sap and have them synergize. We're not quite there yet, though. Okay, let's take candescence because darts are burn damage. Oh, hey, there's a new super mod. Hold on a second here. This um, deflagration rupture plus purge. Alrighty. Can do, can do. Let's keep this build even, Steven, huh? Okay, it doesn't split with me, but it will take the regeneration you had and apply it to your shields. Got it. Thank you, Mr. Speed. That's very uh, clearly articulated. Appreciate you, man. I get it. We're definitely not there yet, but soon. All right, I'm going to take payload. Our rate of fire is just pants right now, but our darts are massive damage. So darts scale off of weapon damage and size. So the higher the size of the dart, the more damage it does. Also, the longer it persists in the enemy. So there's some uh, ignition damage there, too. I'm dangerously close to dying right now for no good reason. There's Essence Sap. Let's go. So Essence Sap stores our damage as healing up to 5% of our maximum hull per second. So the higher our hull is, the more work Essence Sap can do. You know what? No, you will not steal this massive XP wave. Not for me. Okay, I'm dead. I am not dead. Life's good when you're not dead. It's a chunky boy right here. Let's get some burner damage going on, huh? There we go. There we go. Alright, I think I'm going to not take Corrosion here. A Corrosion's very good, but it's minus weapon damage. I'm going to take Purge on the other side for that new... Um, that new one. Deflagration. Okay, let's take Regenerative Shields and see what happens here. I think it's going to be fine. Bit of a mixed build so far. Not my, not my cleanest composition, but it's fun. We are playing games for fun, after all. That's where it's at. Alright, Rate of Fire. <laughs> We're going to need that. Rate of Fire is just uh, pretty good. Wow, damage pretty good, man. Pretty good. Woo! I'm 
big bada boom. Honestly, burst fire is probably just a pretty smart take. Let's go ahead and grab drones, though. We do have drone specialist, so we'll call it a mixed build. Hey, what's good? Interactive chess. Nice to see you. Let me get caught up here again before I fall behind. Uh, Iceman Chad, thanks for 94. Nighthawk 53. Phoenix Rising 21. Clindo, thanks for 11. Space Bear, cool name, dude. Thanks for that. Prime resubscription. And Sherbinator, thanks for 40 months. Ooh, dog. Having tried both mouse and keyboard and controller now, I like both control schemes a lot. This game just controls really well. Oh my god, look at that loot snake. I'm not convinced I need guidance here, in fact. You know, I'm going to grab shield cooldown. I'm not dropping my shield. Yeah, I think I probably will take guidance. It's just not. <laughs> it's not necessary right now. Okay, this isn't a pretty gnarly wave for wave 65 or whatever we're at right now. Let's focus on the Celestial real quick. Okay. And our damage is lacking a smidge. Ooh. Farsight for larger playfield is generally good, but I don't think I want it on a darts build. Darts have a um, set amount of time that they're active based on the size of the projectile, but eventually when the screen gets really, really big, Farsight might even do us a little bit of a disservice. I'm going to do a roll here. All right, twist my arm, why don't you? More of everything. Do I really want to go more into drones is the question I'm asking myself right now. Not so sure on that. I'm gonna do a roll here. Alright, I'll take I'll take guidance. Guidance does really improve um, our targeting, and since I'm not going warp strike, that seems like an adequate take. Prudent, even. All right, burst fire is the damage increase I want. Whoa, let's not let's not front load all the damage on the enemy. Thanks. Hell yeah! Look at that loot snake. I want to go back to loot snake lake. We 
What's this? Shield cooldown. Well, I don't think I'm going Tempest Break here. I'm going to grab a Burst Fire, or Double Tap, rather. Now we get four iterations of our projectile. I'll get all caught up again after this level up. Y'all, too kind today and every day. So again, glad to be here uh, doing this thing once more. 2,715 shows as of today. Yeah. It's been great. Oh, you're done, son. You're done. Ooh, tough wave here. All right, I'm going to take Adrenal Module in preparation to take a Hyper Metabolism. No, I'm not. I got, I got Essence Sap right now. Get it together, sir. All right, one more reroll then. Oh, man. So, one way to look at Twin Strike, uh, which I'm going to take one Twin Strike here, is that since we're firing four iterations of the weapon, it's like an extra four projectiles per volley. I mean, technically, with the homing strikes, it's more than that, but... Uh, you gotta be wary of taking too many Twin Strikes, unless you're going for some ludicrous offensive build, because when you lose your regeneration rate, um, or recovery rate, which does also affect Essence Sap, you're gonna need regeneration later in the game. But, you know, one one's generally gonna be very good. Yeah, I don't want Corruption, I want Purge, which I'm gonna take next time I see it. Or not. Let's face it, Absorption's just a very good mod. Plus three plating, that's three less damage to our hull for all projectiles that hit our hull. Which is going to be all of them when our shields are down. Chonky boy's got a lot of HP, man. Yeah, all right, all right. Let's go for shield durability. What's our shield at right now? 138. That's quite a bit. Pretty uh, serene set of waves there. It's like just cruising around, man. It's floating. I'm gonna reroll here. I'm strongly considering just taking the burners now to skip blink. Yo, Nat, man, thanks for 13 months. Zanyan Law, thanks for 50 as well. Appreciate that. Ah, oh, what the hell? Let's grab Adaptive Armor. Adaptive Armor never hurts a build.
Yo, Bergo. Thanks for that tier 2 82 month subscription. Thanks for the welcome back. Glad to be here. Alright, with the shield this big, barrier is really nice. I'm just going to go ahead and take this. Um, yeah, barrier is sick. Barrier reads that the maximum damage is going to be done to our shield at once is 25. So on big damage, like a large projectile or smashing into an enemy or something, uh, it mitigates a lot of damage. I don't want to fire at the front here to begin. So when you break the front portions of this enemy, it's what starts the projectile spawning. So if you can get all of the damage into the uh, the back, working towards the core, you got to deal with a lot less projectiles. I mean, another double tap ain't gonna hurt. Let's do it. I think this particular build is gonna run into damage problems later on. Though I've been spoiling myself for damage with these salvo builds, so probably just gotta get good. So we're firing 30 projectiles uh, per volley, um, including the uh, homing ones, which I'm going to include. Okay, let's get the next recursive wild mod you choose. Gain additional two times. Yep. Yep. So I'm really enjoying the color on these projectiles. Big time. Yeah, that's a reroll. What does it take to get Sanctuary? Oh, we need Aegis and Barrier. Let's do that and then go Omni Shield for, you know, funsies. So, kinetic boost now. Yo, they just keep coming. Ties for a second. Thanks for 75 months of lurking in midnight. Thanks for 50, dude. So many subs and resubs for our return stream. Just thank you so much. It's appreciating this continued opportunity. Also, again, very much appreciate the opportunity to take uh, twice yearly vacations, time to reflect on the experience has been. Um, get back here in the best mood possible for our next uh, six months or so till our next Fragmas. Been about seven years of that, and I'm enjoying the format. I'm grateful for it.
Get heckin' bamboozled, blue feller. Dang, that was more than a one cycle. That was like a 0.75 cycle. Dude, can you give me purge instead of corrosion, please? Thanks. Thanks. We've seen corrosion six times now and purge not once. Such as a randomized mod pool. This fella is a chonky boy. Whoa, 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 whoa. You are slightly out of control there. No, you will not steal my XP. Where will? I get him or nah? Okay, now we're good. In all fairness, I probably should have let this Singularity steal my XP there. But when has greed ever gone wrong on this livestream? I can't think of once. Never happened. Eh. I mean, I'll take channeling. It's going to be part of the inbuild anyways. Alright, this triple celestial wave is a big concern. Oh, it's gonna get freaking spicy. I need blink right now. Okay, I got lucky. Better lucky than good, as I will continue saying and meaning. Yeah. Got some damage issues right now. Though that is a particularly brutal wave. Ooh, yes, charge that shield for me there. Yikes. Yikes. Uh-oh. The spaghetti is cooked. I repeat, the spaghetti is cooked. Goodbye, loot snake. I'll miss you. Give me what I want here. There it is, Purge! We found it! I don't know what tree has rupture. I haven't seen that either. Anyway, it's gonna take Purge now. Uh, now, when we bump into an enemy, it starts a caustic rollover uh, based on burning damage, which is what darts are doing. Okay, I don't like this wave. I think what this run has taught me is that I'm very reliant on the blink perk, which... It's a good one. Although learning how to maneuver without it is going to be good.
Ruptures in the blast radius tree. Okay, fair enough. I'll explain we haven't seen it yet. This one. So on this one, we want to go increase blast radius because that will uh, help out this. Okay, let's see. Dealing crash damage head on to an enemy, a burning enemy will remove any ignites and trigger purge. Purge creates a caustic nova that rolls over targets. The damage of purge scales with the combined burning damage enemies taking, okay? Interesting. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Listen here, buddy. Gotta power through this. Still haven't killed the shield guy? Dang it. Ooh, it's getting weird. It's getting weird. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna roll here. Gonna roll again. Gonna roll one more time. Uh, I'm gonna continue rolling. Oh boy, one more time then. All right. Yo, DC. 100. Thanks for 98 months, partner. And Nutty Buckeye, thanks for 56. Thank you, thank you. Shalia, thanks for 37 as well. Hell yeah. This wave, I'm gonna need to use my burners here, I think. Oh, hey, can I caustic roll over you guys? Does that not work? Okay, I'm taking way too much damage here. That well, was a very haphazard way to clear that wave. I enjoyed it. There's been a lot of frickin' loot snakes on this, uh, this particular run. Dang.
All right. Um, I haven't taken efficiency yet. I'm not sold on Omni Shield or Sanctuary here. This would put Sanctuary in the pool, but I want this new uh, super mod, so let's look for it. Have I gotten Rupture yet? No. Mercy. Okay, fine. I'm just going to take efficiency right now. Whoa, whoa. What's this wave right here? A bad person. That's what it is. Get caught up again after our next level just thank you all again for this immense support for our return stream it was a nice staycation very productive always nice to have a moment to reflect on the experience that's been appreciate that opportunity it's been about seven years of the same format where i take a vacation after our um fragments twice each year let's call it a working system and I'm very grateful for once again. I am the only streamer I can think of that takes regular vacations twice a year. And uh, <laughs> it's very important to me. Because that time to reflect on the experiences where all the good stuff happens. I'm always talking about when I talk to uh, other streamers or people in general about streaming that I do truly believe that creativity is cyclical. Uh, it, you don't have an infinite amount of creativity or energy and having times where you're not exerting that to replenish that resource is um, paramount to, well, at least my process. Oh, that's a cool wave, dude. Can you not do that, though? It's scary. There's Rupture. All right, we got the we got the new super mod in the pool, potentially. If I don't die before it appears. And let me tell you, at this current moment, dying is a real possibility. Okay, shields down. That's what I'm worried about right here. Are you really not even past half health yet? Mmm. Mmm. Am I dead? I may very well be dead. Okay, I'm not. Okay. Okay, what a wave. What a wave, though. Have you considered not being this way, game? Okay, let's clean this up. Okay, things are looking up. I think what happened here is that uh, when I ran, when I run into the enemy head on, which has happened quite a few times this fight, it removes all of my darts because they're ignite damage, and purge is removing that. So that's uh, an effect I was unaware of. I'm almost convinced that's what's happening here. Also, this is my last uh, cycle on him to actually get this before new enemies appear. There we go. Ooh, 
dogs. See, we're really missing Blink right now. But I'm going to continue this run without it, because uh, learning's good. Is this really just the next wave spawning? Interesting. Yeah, I do have this triple wild mod I haven't spent yet. Okay, I'll take core shielding, I guess. Yeah, as I said earlier, having used both uh, mouse and keyboard and controller for this game, both control schemes are fantastic. It's my personal opinion, if you go into that particular conversation trying to decide which one is best, you're doing yourself a major disservice. You should try both for yourself and decide, or maybe alternate between for a different experience. This wave right here is getting scary for this build right now. Okay, it's getting weird. We unweirded the moment. That's good. The uh, general downside to Blink is that it costs three perks to get to it. Well, it's definitely a great defensive tool on this front. It'd probably be a little better without it. It's good to uh, try other things. If we always use Blink, then we'll always dodge in the same way versus enemies, so... Uh, building building our toolbox okay that's not great so the sanctuary is looking better and better at the moment Xander, thanks for 33 months. Zuzo, thanks for 43 as well. All right, rolling. Oh, can you give me... Can you give me that new... Super mod, you can do it game, right? Okay, purification, we didn't have that? Really? So purification does read minus 30% uh, weapon damage, but since it adds burn damage and ignite, um, it is an effective damage up for darts specifically. A very good one at that. The extra ignite duration increases the... Um, duration of each dart projectile which is massive.
Whoa, 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 what was that? Okay, we're alive. Ish. This is brutal. Um, I see this probably not ending well for me, but we're going to keep giving it a go. I guess the, um... The black hole here could very easily take care of this Gigantor enemy. Maybe. Yeah, here we go. That'll do. Sweet, you broke a mill right here. Nice, nice run. Not bad for a, uh, you know, whatever run. <laughs> and the reflex shield's pretty great on these guys. A little bit wonky, but I'm liking it. Let's zoop over here so we can get our shield back. Good, good. Hmm. <laughs> I just tried to blink uh, out of instinct. Like that. Can I please see the new wild mod? Please? Hey, hey! All I had to do is ask and reroll 18 times. Destroying a burning enemy will consume and ignites and trigger deflagration. Deflagration creates a caustic nova that rolls over targets. The damage uh, deflagration scales with the combined burning damage the enemy is taking. Okay. So this is like rupture with a burning effect. It's pretty sick. That'll certainly help our damage. appreciate blink right now not gonna get to it though we're gonna finish this run out with no blink one of the only ships that can get away with it with 140 starting thrust course or two Big bada boom. Oh, hey, blue feller. What's up? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, no. Am I dead? Not quite. Okay, 
I can recover this. Just try to blink again. That's what I do, apparently. Um, yeah. Singularity is definitely not helping here. There you go. There you go. Uh-huh. Do you take damage from that or nah? Oh man, this guy's a jerk. Can't believe I live there. GG. That was a pretty good run for just a throw together. Not too shabby. Yes, you're right, Brady Spaghetti. It is it is about lunchtime. That's true. Alright, been going for about two and a half hours here. Uh, I'm gonna throw on some FTL tunes real quick, and then we'll be back for some uh some more gameplay here in a moment. Let me throw on the cat cam here. Alrighty. Yes, Pin Pin, you're right. The cats have been very um, upset. There's been no treat cam for the past couple weeks. I'm certainly not keeping that routine while I'm not, uh, or while I'm on vacation. All right, let's get some FTL tunage going. Okay. All right, everybody, we're turning just a few minutes for some more fun. Just going to stand up, take a quick break, have my, my lunch. This will be about five minutes here. Please do enjoy the kitties that may or may not appear on Tree Cam. Probably will, if I had to guess. Be back in just a few moments for some more fun. Before I stand up here as well, Zuzo, thanks for 43 months. Looking for us, thanks for 31. And Jolly Roger, thanks for 75. All right, be right back.
Alrighty, we have returned. Thanks for your patience during that brief one. Hope y'all had a nice break too. Let's head back into at least one more run in Overdrift and we'll see what happens from there. 
All right, let me get this loaded back up real quick. All right, as I'm sitting down here, Jolly Roger, thanks for 75 months, or skills a lot. Thanks for Tier 2, 65 months, Race Car Driver, 76, Imsen Thropo, 60, and Job Mala, thanks for 35. Thank you. All right. Maybe next time we'll play, we'll do some Annihilation difficulty. It's really hard. Uh, you do get a, a slight score modifier, but it's a brutal mode. Only the best builds will go to um, Annihilation. All right, Railgun, let's go. I actually have not done Railgun with mouse and keyboard yet, so this will be interesting. I want a purple projectile. That's my only reason for taking Temporal right here. I like purple. So very similar to darts, we want to get volley and targeting as some of our first upgrades. Oh, I drifted. Hard to argue with that, Leza. Hard to argue with that. Oh, is it five shots? Okay, five five shots then. Um, you know what? I'm going to take the Assault Class Vessel. Here we go. See, Assault Class gets what? Resistance to mobility, reducing effects from weaponry, improved rate of fire, projectile spread, and projectile velocity. Okay, velocity is damage for railguns. That's perfecto. Railgun scales directly off of velocity. Okay, I'd like some levels here. Well, more velocity is not going to be bad. It's 20% more damage. Yikes. Uh, okay, I'll take Snipe, I guess. We're definitely going to want more projectiles here soon. Oh, God. It's scary in here. Uh oh, I'm dead. Ish. Dead ish. You know, that's a, that's a fair start. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Nova Drift be like that sometimes. And mostly there, we got some really um, poor XP starting waves. Let's go Shockwave. It's also a very cool color. These are generally okay. Give level, please. Thank you. All right, let's go research here. So we can banish mods with research and then get maximum hull and shield for each banish. But we start with minus 15% max shield. Power ups last twice as long. Interesting. Never actually read that portion of the tooltip. Yo, deranged optician, thanks for 57 months. Carter, thanks for 37 as well. Appreciate that. All right. Research it is. So research is cool because you can diminish your pool and get basically exactly what you want. And for all the stuff you banish, you get additional stats. Okay, on this one, I'm definitely going Warp Strike. 
I think Railgun and Warp Strike are a pretty neat combination. Also, I'm probably going to fish for Volley next. Um, it is good to save your banishes and rerolls for later, so you can get the things you want when the pool is uh, more diminished. But, I'm going to take this for now. Fun note about um, Railgun, you see the muzzle flash happening in front of the ship. It does really good damage. Yes, homing as well, pretty important. I agree with that. There we go, there we go. Oh, drone specialist. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and banish out uh, turrets here. Okay, there's volley, good. Definitely something. Okay, cool. We got homing and volleys, so our life gets a little easier now. We're not going to take Guidance because it's minus 20%. Um, yeah, minus 20% velocity, so minus 20% damage. I do want shield cooldown. Let's just commit to not dropping our shields here. Shockwave is a pretty fun shield and uh, quite effective. One of the fastest cooldown uh, on a shield, too. So with just a little bit of help, that can be pretty awesome. Maybe get a Death Blossom or Tempest Break on this one. I've got ideas. Uh, yes, Ekates. Daisy also loves watching Nova Drift in such a fashion. Yo, Carter, thanks for 37 months and haste killed 110. 110. What a legend. Thanks, haste. Okay, let's take Velocity. That's a 20% damage increase. Am I dead? I don't want to die. Let's banish out Ally. Calibrate is interesting. Let's go shield effect radius, shield effect power here. That's an interesting take. It's like we're doing another kind of mixed build. Uh, shockwave increased radius is really nice. One little note about uh, the railgun, it also takes into account your speed, so if you're boosting forward, the additional momentum uh, is applied to your railgun damage. Hmm. Go ahead and take a double tap here.
Okay, snipe's awesome. It's actually a huge damage increase for this uh, in general. It's because uh, railgun travels so far. As far as I know, railgun does not degenerate. Um, like you'll never lose the projectile on the screen, even with warp strike. It gets the full loops. Okay, let's go ahead and take mines. Trying to get close enough to get the uh, muzzle flash damage. You can see our damage is not near as good as it is in like the dart or salvo build. That's all right. Railgun just takes a little while to build up to its maximum capacity. And also with Shockwave Shield, we can hang out in the middle here, which is awesome. Oh no, I lost the shield. Okay. <laughs> lost the run, I mean. Uh, that's fair. Uh, I play with both, right? I think both control schemes are fantastic. Currently playing with mouse and keyboard, though. Let's go Flak. Flak is a very easy weapon to manage early on. Let's go for, like, a shieldy build here. I haven't done Siphon in a hot minute. Let's go Flak Carrier. Alright, I'm gonna go for a volley. Getting here doubles the base projectiles of Flak, and uh, Flak starts at 12 projectiles. You go from 12 to 24. That's pretty nice. I'm just gonna go ahead and take, uh, well, that's not the one. Ooh, let's think here. So, if I want to drop my shields and put it on swarmers, what is the mod that does that? Okay, it's elegant construction and shielded, is what I'm gonna do. Let's go ahead and get the improved thrusters. The starting thrust on carrier is only 75, so I think it's a foregone conclusion we're gonna grab improved thrusters. And base damage on Flak is so good. Magnitude's free damage, I'm in. Yeah... I'm gonna take Focus Fire right now. I would actually say uh, Homing Shot is less important on this weapon, though it's definitely still very good. Ow. Man, that does done mess up my swarmers. Uh, no. Okay, blast radius is interesting because non-explosive projectiles deal 15% damage as blast damage to other targets. That includes the damage this target is hitting as well. So uh, that gives 15% of 45 damage for all projectiles.
Greetings, uh, Bready Spaghetti. Thank you for meowing into the microphone. Thank you. What a good kitty. You just gonna chill out and watch some Nova Drift then? All right, all right. What a good kitty. Okay, a few more pets if you're gonna purr then. Okay. Do we have to go right to the biting, huh? You know, I bet uh, loaded loaded flak mines are pretty good. Yo, Danny K, thanks for 75 months and that welcome back, Darno. Thanks for 36 and Larmike 60 months. Donks. So that mod is going to add the next wild mod that we take four times and then banish it from the pool forever. So we can really take any wild mod we want. We'll only get it the one more time. I think maybe burst fire might be it. Ah, oh, these choices, man. Okay, let's add projectile targeting. That's not it's not gonna be something we forego. May not be the thing I want, but it's the thing we're getting right now. Oh, what a wave for wave 30. Dang. Dang. Wave 30, though? Re-zero? Can we please start a chain reaction? Thank you. Thank you. There we go. 1 good no note about this very brutal wave is those bulwarks give a lot of XP. Damn. That was a gnarly wave, dude. Let's do it again. That was the toughest wave 30 I've seen yet. Let's go back to flak here. I'd like to get a flak build going. I generally enjoy flak builds a lot. Uh, siphon again. I'm gonna pass the siphon shield onto my carriers, which adds a very cool effect. Oh, these guys are great XP. Awesome. All right, yo, I'm just going to grab Elegant Construction right now, because if I get to Shielded Constructs after this, then uh, my Elite Swarmers that I make with no guarantee get passed on the shield, and they do the siphon damage to the enemies, so uh, that's good. We'll leave us very weak on hull for the moment, but overall quite good. All right, let's add in Targeting. Okay, rate of fire is not bad. Man, 
Yeah, all right. Oh. Okay, I'm definitely going to be grabbing improved thrusters. What would bravado look like here? Okay, while your shield is down or you have no shield, Swarm Con is getting increased movement speed and rate of fire. That's why we want to pass our shield on. Swarmers also heal your shield if you have a shield up, so there's a transverse to that. I'm going to do a roll here. Oh, Mind Specialist? Okay, if you're going to give me Mind Specialist, I might. Nah. Ah. These are all fine. Take maximum hole. I'm going to want that later. Always wanting to re-roll in the early game for stuff, but the truth is, if we see something that works, we should probably just take it, and we're going to take later. Say re-rolls are much more valuable later on than they are early. Okay, but one reroll here. Okay, here we go. Okay, focus fire. One more upgrade. We can have double projectiles. That's definitely good. There will be slightly less damage, but there will be um, twice as many of them. Okay, here we go. Shielded constructs. We're going to take this. Shield damage resistance for constructs 50%. Extra shield effect power, extra hull damage resistance, base hull, and maximum hull. Awesome. Also, anytime we create an elite swarmer, it's going to carry our shield for us. And our shield currently does AoE damage, which replenishes shields. So if we end up getting three or four elite constructs, um, they can kind of self-propagate the shielding. They can also uh, take damage, so we got to be careful of that. I'm just flying through my rerolls here. Let's go ahead and grab adaptive armor. Death Blossom A. Some sort of hull regeneration would be um, nice. Can you explain how flak is plus 24 projectiles? Because that's not how I understand the tooltip. It says plus one projectile and then doubles base projectiles. And base is 12. Oh, I got five elite swarmers right now. That's pretty sick. Okay, doubles added projectiles gained from upgrades. There it is. You are absolutely correct. Thanks for that clarification on how that works. All 
it's uh, a tough one right there. I'm going to roll. All right, snipe's a big deal. I'm going to go ahead and get that, too. Snipe's big because it also adds damage per projectile. So the more projectiles we have, the more effects Snipe can get. That is, a, that is so many Elite Swarmers. I rarely remember getting this many ever. Eight Elite Swarmers? Whoa, dude. Eight? Oh, cheesy rice, these upgrades. Not sure if these upgrades are like been a bad set or if my um, not knowing exactly what build I want to do is causing me to feel that way. Yeah. Here's regeneration. There we go. Okay, caught up with your support on this next uh, next upgrade. Dude, the amount of swarmers that have the shield right now is just nuts. Yeah, this enemy is um, infamous for taking out the swarmers. What? Why is this guy going turret mode already? Gotta be the formation he's in. Itch. This kitty is just loving life watching the screen right now. Okay, payload, fine. I actually thought that was magnitude when I took it, but it wasn't. Okay, definitely want absorption here, yeah. Almost wondering if the rate of elite swarmer creation has been changed since the last time I tried this build, because I feel like I'm getting way more um, elite swarmers than previous. No, this is an extremely small uh, sample size to be making that kind of statement. Okay, regenerative shields is not happening. God, these upgrades, man. Give me what I want, though, instead. All right, I'm going to take Hypermetabolism, uh, at least one, so I can regenerate my hole. Uh, normally, I would take the one that drops shield um, on a different set for this build, but we're going to need some actual regeneration rate, so I don't intend on going Essence Sam. A little curious about taking, like, Sanctuary uh, on this build. Well, I'd much rather have Streamline. Maybe I want both. Yeah, let's go ahead and take this. No Streamline. Uh, that's much better now. You know what? I'm going to fly into this thing. That was interesting. Oh, wave 60 begins. I see he despawned the black hole. Wow, look at the damage those swarmers are doing right now. Look at that. Legends over here. 
Okay, weapon mastery, twist my arm. Or I'm not sure if I actually did this or not. My apologies. A few minutes behind here. Larmike, thanks for 60 months. Retcon 87. Kern 117, thanks for 72. Shammy 13. Show not found 19. Tremus 53. And Gimaka, thanks for seven months of lurking. Thank you for all that support for our return stream today. It's been a very fun one. All right, I'm going to take Blink, because Blink repeatedly saves my life, especially on a slower vessel like this, I think um, even more important. Man, sure, it'd be nice to have 24 more projectiles, wouldn't it? Just, just talking out loud here, game, that's all. Unbelievable, really, these these upgrades. Warp Strike's a no. Let's go ahead and take Core Shielding, I guess. Ooh. Okay, I'm already out of rerolls, and uh, we're just going to take those plus five levels. I haven't seen this perk in, I don't know, long time. Okay, Shield Radius, big deal for our current build. Uh, force Armor, yep. Core Shielding, yep. Uh, this thing, yep. <laughs> it will not give me the extra projectiles. I get it. I get it. Let's go ahead and do a three times galvanic outburst. So every time our shield takes damage on our swarmers, they'll shoot out lightning to ignite the enemies. And shield effect power will also increase the rate at which shields are regenerated from siphon. That was a mouthful. Let's do it. Sign me up. <laughs> Look at this. I have, I have zero elite swarmers after having eight in the early game. What a game. Now I'm going to let this guy destroy some of those swarmers so I can perhaps get some elite ones out. There we go. Well, I can't re-roll, so... Let's go ahead and go shield cooldown here. Seems appropriate. Still no double projectiles. It's been in the pool for 12 or 13 levels now, including all those re-rolls I did. It'll show up eventually. But not right now. Your next three upgrades contain only recursive wild mods. I don't know about that. Uh, charge shot's a little pain to manage at the moment. Let's go for this. I think I would like a slipstream. Get a little extra... Um, Rust and minus friction. A little bit of minus friction is generally a positive effect on a build. So it allows you to drift for longer, and drifting is a great way to dodge. Plus, it's in the name of the game. Nova Drift. Am I seeing this right, that they're gaining armor stacks? Or is that the siphon particle effect? I think that's just the particle effect. Let me read this adaptive armor tooltip. It says when you take damage, so... Probably not for that.
Oh my god, this kitty right now. Hold on. Let me turn a light on real quick. This kitty. Look at this. Look at the face on this cat. Grumpy and chilling. How's that? How's that working out for you? Huh? What a good kitsu. Oh my god, these little paws. Listen here, lady. You're being too cute for your own good. Look at these paws right now. What a happy kitty. Yeah, that's you. Happy kitty. Spoiled or rotten, yar. All right, no more pets, she says. No more pets. Yo, you're giddy. Thanks for 64 months. And Isarun, thanks for 92. Thank you. You should make it, Isarun. Should. Oh, great. Ow! You just clawed me, Daisy. That was not an invitation to come into my lap, but I guess that's what's happening right now. Okay. Come here. Yeah, come here. No, not rub on the microphone. Come here. There you go. Cats. Always doing cat stuff. Yeah, let's go ahead and take a, a burst fire, I think. Or we can take evolutionary niche. What would that do for us? It would increase our swarm constructs and their movement speed and fire rate. Now, I think right now that one bur double tap is going to be a lot more uh, effective. Hey, McQueen, nice to see you, man. Glad you can make it for our return stream. Hope you're having a good one, dude. Clear out these mines, then. No, I don't want hiccups. I don't. It's getting weird. Well, this whole build's pretty funky. Imagine if I had three times as many projectiles. It'd probably be a little easier. The game refuses to give me that upgrade. I'm gonna take one more slipstream here. I mean, I think getting extra thrust on this ship in particular is pretty important. Let's 
siphon going to put in the work on this? <laughs> Goodbye, Swarmers. It was nice knowing you. That enemy is just so good at killing those little fellers. Hell no, you're not stealing my XP right now. No, no. Oh no, maybe it is. Okay, goodbye XP. Oh, it arrived! Doubles base projectiles plus one projectile. And as uh, DJ pointed out earlier, deadly burst of shrapnel doubles added projectiles. So we're going from 12 to 36 projectiles here. 36. Yes, it is more like 39. I was referring to our base projectiles, but you're right. There is more projectiles added on that. So we have ones added from volley, and we have the uh, additional ones added from... Or the plus one from that other upgrade, too. You're not wrong. What does this do? Uh, let's go ahead and grab Guidance here. Now that we have such a spread, I bet it's going to be uh, worth it. Ow. Really should not have spun him while he was firing those projectiles, but I did. Are we one cycling right now? Hell yeah, we're one cycling. Hell yeah. Let's go over here. Um, am I dead? I am in fact not dead. Cool. Well, charge shot is kind of groovy here. You know what else would be groovy? Uh, corrosion. You minus weapon damage, we'd be applying massive amounts of burning stacks. Uh, our weapon damage is currently 45, so remove 10% of that, that'd be, well, four and a half, let's just call it five damage per projectile. But we'd be adding a stack of corrosion at 2.5 burning damage per second. I don't know what the base uh, duration for one corrosive stack is. I know it has a maximum where it starts falling off, but I have to assume that that is a damage up. Um, even if you don't apply the corrosive stack being added to another enemy after the first enemy dies. Oh, nothing to apologize for, Matthews. Appreciate the correction. Uh, I think we're at how many projectiles right now? 42 projectiles. That's right. All right, how's this 42? We started at 12. Um, it had doubled the base. That takes us to 36. Okay, uh, the plus one is 38, and then volley adds four. So that's our 42 right there. 
even higher than I thought. Yeah, I'm gonna take this, man. Let's go. I want corrosion. I just like the idea of corrosive flak. I don't even care if it's good. It just sounds cool. Yeah, I don't believe our little buddies will add corrosion. However, uh, the swarmers do add a vulnerability, so it'll increase the damage of the burning damage that we apply. Because corrosion uh, reads your weapon, and swarmers are not firing our weapon. The extra blast damage does add more damage per projectile, so I'm going to do that because we're getting a 15% uh, damage per. It's not offensive. It's not what I'd want, but since we took uh, Quantum Dohek Adherence, there's no, um, no more rerolls, so we might as well take the best mod that appears, whether we really want it or not. Not offensive is good enough. Lots of great questions and answers in chat today. Thank you all for being so helpful, not just to my questions, but answering each other's questions. Appreciate that a lot. Yikes. I don't think another double tap is uh, necessarily bad. I think I'm going to take that. Dude, another hype train? You all are going ham today. Zinko81, thanks for 50 months. V Agent Zero, thanks for 44. Death Diesel, 79. Thank you. <laughs> I'm extremely worried about antimatter rounds and the amount of damage they would do. Since we're firing um, such a large amount of projectiles per volley. Uh, we're now currently firing 126 projectiles per shot. That's a couple. Uh, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and call it. I think antimatter rounds would get us killed right now. It's extremely likely. Oh, hey there, big fella. Okay, well, that's done. That's good. Whoa, where'd he go? What happened, dude? Siege weapon is interesting. Burst fire, I think it's going to be a bit too much. 
I mean, yes, this would bring us to um, 100, no, 252 projectiles per, per volley, but uh, I think the, the shot rate down would be a bit much for me right now. That is, I'm, I'm liking the current application rate of the um, projectiles. Yes, antimatter rounds does scale off of uh, projectile count according to the tooltip on it, which I believe is correct. Yeah, corrosion would be huge right now if we can get it. I don't like any of these. Focus fire has to be bad. Yeah, for sure. Oh, I think the least offensive here is probably just taking mines. Calibrate's all right, too. Let's take Calibrate. When the screen gets much larger, that's the added, uh, the added velocity on the projectiles would be good. Is it, what wave is this right now? But this guy's appearing like this, one, one something? 139, okay. I don't want to die. <laughs> but I am very much dead. Very much dead. Alright, let me go to settings here real quick. Uh, define keyboard and mouse controls. Strafe right. I'm going to go D. Strafe left. I'm going to go here. Deploy mine. We'll go E. All right, so I had this idea for a build a um, couple days ago. I was laying in bed about 2.30 in the morning, and I went, hmm, that sounds fun. Uh, so the build I want to try is I'm going to call it Invisible Fortress. So we're going to take the Spectre ship with Salvo, loaded mines, and then I'm going to take uh, Aegis, and I'm going to try to get to Strafe, which means we can teleport left and right with a super mod. So basically going to try to teleport around while keeping Aegis active and use our invisibility and blink and teleport movement to keep that active. So using a uh, very little uh, thrust. This is definitely an experimental idea, but uh, there it is. All right, before I kick this one off, I'm um, just going to use the restroom real fast and refill my water. Let's return momentarily for another run of Nova Drift. And before I stand up and forget completely, Jackal, thanks for 30 months. Hurricane Geo, 32. Zinko, 50 months. V Agent, 0, 44. Death Diesel, 79. And Old Chief, thanks for 22, dude. Hey, thanks for that, Hydro. All right, be back in just a moment for another run.
All right, we're back. Uh, before we go into this run, one more thing. Uh, and that one more thing is going to be setting the keyboard control for stabilize. Let's put that on S. All right, cool. This kitty I got is out of control right now. Well, all of them, but especially the one. Okay, salvoing. Thank you for that one moment. You're correct. We do not want... No, we're good. We're good. Oh, turn left is on A. All right, let's make that O. Good catch there. Thank you. That would create some uh, funkiness. All right, so we're going to go Amp Shield. This is additional thrust and damage. The additional thrust is nice for Spectre because it means you can get more movement without actually revealing your cloak. Okay, no Spectre here. Here it is. Okay, up to 250% total weapon damage when you fire while cloaked. Plus one cloak rate per your level. Firing or moving quickly causes this bonus to rapidly diminish. But we can still move slowly and the enemies will not be able to see where we're at. Which is great. Uh, they're both really nice, Blackmail. Question's been asked a lot since I'm using keyboard and mouse, and I've used a lot of controller before, but I think both control schemes are good. Very good, in fact. This game just has good controls, as it turns out. Okay, let's go for some stockpile right here. Okay, a bit of a waste on that volley, huh? All right, gonna take mines. Gonna take loaded mines, awesome. Very um, nice beginning here. Okay, let's go ahead and take Lance. Uh, so I'm going to try to get to Blink as quickly as I can. In fact, let me take a look at these super mods real quick. Which one's the teleporting one? Displacement. Blink plus Strafe. Strafe is on the stabilization tree, I think. Anywho, got to go here. Yeah, targeting will be good later. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take um, Elegant Construction, which is a little funky. We're not exactly grabbing the offensive upgrades. I like this early, but uh, we're getting the core of the build set up. And that core is very important. Yeah. Okay, let's go Velocity. Anything that puts us towards Warp Strike is going to be a good take.
All right, on this one, I am going to go Burst Fire. Uh, burst Fire increases the amount of stockpile rate we get and also increases the amount of missiles per loaded mine. Well, efficiency is rather good. I'm going to roll once here, though. Okay, here's Snipe. Awesome. Eh. What does Bravado do here? It's trying to rationalize how this would work. So unique powers are improved by 15%. So it's like a 40% increase possible on weapon damage while cloaked. That's really good. Um, the cloak rate per level, it would mean we're cloaked faster. I think just for the first time trying this build, I'm not going to do Bravado because <laughs> inevitably in the late game, having always leader champions is incredibly dangerous. So let's just go for the classic uh, efficiency here. Hey, doing good, Wiz. Nice to see you as well, Dale. Got all these legends. Old Chief 92, thanks for 22 months. T Pixel, thanks for 83 as well. Too kind, everybody. Too kind. I, think I want Streamline rather than Deadly Wake. In fact, I'm sure on that. Let's go ahead and go Shield Effect Radius. Uh, shield Effect Radius is damage up for this build. Well. No, I'm not so sure. Let's grab Gemini Protocol. We'll go Gemini Protocol Essence Sap as a, a very cheap way to keep our ship alive. Okay, volleys generally very good. Uh, more projectiles is more stockpile rate, more mines out of the loaded mines too. Well, at the end of this is 35% extra blast damage, which is uh, what missiles are. I'm in. Sold. Let's keep it cool. Okay, here's 35% more missile damage. I'm not sure if we're making the Invisible Fortress on this build right now, but we'll see. Ooh, okay, okay. I can definitely live without all of these things, and uh, minus 7% size is pretty monumental, as is 7 rerolls. 
Yo, Wolf, thanks for 24 months. Nick G23, thanks for 38 as well. Though I do want streamline, don't I? I do. So the reason I want streamline is the additional thrust means that we have a better time staying cloaked. So we can tap the tap our thrust and still be in the in the cloak. Interesting. What is regression getting rid of here? Okay, I will say getting rid of getting rid of magnitude is pretty painful, so I might not do that. At least not yet. It's in the pool now. Alright, double taps, just rate of fire, which is stockpile rate. And uh, amount of missiles from each, whoa, from each loaded mine. Oh, they don't even fire if they can't see you. That's cool. Also, uh, nice for me. Yeah. What does regression get rid of here? Gotta feel like targeting something we're gonna want later. Let's go ahead and take um, a farsight here. Seven percent playfield size. Let's go ahead and grab blink. You know, I should really probably save for Ataraxia here pretty soon. Or I can just try to get this build going. It'll be fine too. I <laughs> shielded the box. Interesting. Never seen that before. Oh, this build's so funky right now. Let's roll. Let's roll again. Okay, fine. seems to happen often when I go into a build with a very specific idea in mind. It just does not give me the things I want. Yeah, uh, this is really good for the extra damage on the body. Let's go for it. Uh, this is our first stream using keyboard and mouse uh, deal. As I said earlier in the stream, I think both control schemes, both controller and keyboard and mouse for this game are fantastic. I have no doubt I'll use controller again, just doing keyboard and mouse right now. There we go. There we go. This is big because our loaded minds will now loop the screen. So I actually want to give this guy a target right now, so that uh, the laser's not flying around all willy-nilly. So I do need to get this to get to strafe. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. It's not the best offensive take right now, but I want to try this uh, build where I can teleport left and right while cloaked. I think that sounds awesome. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pass on Ataraxia here, just... Uh... Just to do that. I could definitely start saving right here, but... Oh yeah, stabilization's awesome for us going a little bit backwards, too. Let's hit him with the old reversi. Classic time-honored maneuver. Shield cooldown's not bad since we have Gemini here. Uh, let's do one reroll, though. Bless you, game. Please give me the things I want. Thanks. I'm just going to banish those. Oh, man. Here it is again. I don't see any reason not to banish all these out. Looks great. Minus size as well. Bunch more rerolls. Okay, Splinter is definitely excellent. Now our missiles create more missiles. Cool. Man, we cloak so quick right now. Holy guacamole. That evolutionary niche uh, is good. This game's such a joy to play. Uh, I think I'd rather have Warpath right now. Is that true? Yes. Mastery will be back. I want to give this guy a target as well. Oh, did you see how fast I almost died there? Whoa. Whoa. We're a little glass cannony, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, Warp Strike is allowing our projectiles to loop once. Uh, the downside to that is if we um, go through the screen, we take a flat percentage hull and shield damage. 10% plus 5. Alright, let's face it, Leaf on the Wind's awesome for this build. You gain global damage up to 50% for not taking damage. That'll almost never be fully active, but we'll be receiving some form of global damage at all times from that, which is good enough for me. Oh, yes, and size down. We're just a little feller, all right? Little feller coming through. Excuse me. Excuse me, little feller here. I'll get caught up with uh, subs and stuff on this next upgrade. There it is. That's the one. Sensor Pixel, thanks for 55 months. 3D Res 75. And Wiki Wiki Man, thanks for a 34. Time for some water. What's the opposite side of this tree? Our reserves. 
think agility is the one I want, but for the moment, let's take charge shot. This is going to turn into charged mines in a moment. Actually better off not using the charge shot because I lose my damage bonus from the cloak, which is much higher than the bonus on charge. But then I can pass the charged effect onto my mines. Which is cool. Yes, yeah, so that is correct. Thank you for that um, clarification, Anarcher. We can screen wrap while cloaked and not lose... Uh, or scream out without losing leaf on the wind because it's not hazard or enemy damage. That's a very true statement. Greetings! Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to dodge for a minute. Actually, you know what? I'm going to charge up my shot here. Maybe. What's going on with you, dude? That was not my best volley. Okay, this is the smart way to do it. Just cloak and then fire a full damage volley at him. I get it now. We're cloaking almost instantaneously. That's awesome. All right, here's loaded mines. I'm in. Yeah, what's our thrust at right now? 44 a second. Wowza. Charge mines are great because they're going to make much bigger missiles, uh, which means more splinters, which means more damage. a really funky build right now. I don't need power reserves. I got 15 rerolls. Let's use a couple. Alright, I'm going to take agility. My goal here was to get to being able to maneuver while cloaked, though I've gotten a little sidetracked. Let's take our track and get back on it. Ooh. Big bada boom. Yo, R Star PD, thanks for 109 months. 109. What a legend. Thank you, dude. doing a very good job of using stabilization on this one. Let's get back into that.
Okay, here we go, strafe. So now I want to get displacement, which is blink plus strafe, but we can we can move without or we can strafe without losing our cloak, right? So we can do that if we need to. But that being a teleportation effect without a drift will be pretty cool. Gonna take some getting used to. Whoa, don't want to be here right now. Hello, hello. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's going to take a little bit of um, practice for me to get used to what is left and what is right here. Looking for a displacement. Come on now, there it is. When you trigger straight, if you blink to your destination, displacement works laterally, forward and backwards. So how do you do it backwards, then? Okay. Stab stabilize while blinking. That does do it. <laughs> Here's an enemy that does not care if we're cloaked or not. Whoa, double on that way? That is scary. Yeah, all right. So it's a bit of a brain bender at the moment because I haven't used this yet. So depending on the orientation of the ship, uh, what is left and what is right changes, of course. A very interesting effect. What's behind here? Okay, let's go ahead and take payload. I see this is also on the same cooldown now as Blink. Fine. So now the hope is to get Aegis, so I can get the um, damage resistance, I think. Oh, okay, well, this is real good.
I'm not sure how I feel about this placement. I'm definitely open to the idea of using it more, but uh, I also, having seen this build now, feel that taking Aegis um, on a build that this is this glass cannony is like a little bit of um, a misnomer, right? It's certainly not bad, but is it good? Or would I be better off just taking even more offense and uh, more thrust to stay cloaked? Because I can maneuver while cloaked now um, pretty safely. It's interesting. All right, weapon mastery, twist my arm. Yeah, I think especially with agility, that uh, blink is just about as effective here. Glad we tried. Say blink plus stabilization is about 80% of the effect of being able to teleport left and right. Let's roll here. Uh, I don't even know what I'm looking for right now. What does conversion do? If your maximum hole is greater than maximum shield, so convert 30 to maximum shield, maximum hole. Conversion occurs after all other hole and shield calculations. Struggling to think where that'd be relevant, though I'm sure it has its place. Okay, let's go. Um, twin strike. There we go. That's that's the mod we want. All right, heels. Thanks for 117 months. 117, and have a good one, dude. Netrunner, thanks for 89 as well. Okay, almost dead. <laughs> I mean, all right, I'll take more fire eight, sure. Sure, you betcha. So our rate, 2.77 a second on seven projectile stockpile. That's good. That's good.
Dang, that was a quick teleport, though. Alright, let's just let him get through his business here. Whoa! Never seen that effect. That was cool and terrifying. It's a fun little note, this build does not have targeting. All still on the base um, targeting of the uh, the missile projectiles. Give him a target, at least for this opening volley. There we go. Dude, we're getting that boss after boss. Alright, let's reroll one more time here. Let's take targeting now. Another one? Okay. Ha! <laughs> I almost warped, warped through the screen there with my speed. This build has officially entered slip slippery territory. with the singularity here. It's not going to get him, is it? Rampage, interesting idea, but I don't think so. Ugh, the last stand could be interesting. Let's roll here, though. All right, I'm going to grab Guidance. Now almost all of our missiles will hit.
So here's a question I don't know the answer to. If anybody has it, that'd be great. It's a little bit obscure of a question, but does the damage bonus from Spectre increase based on duration cloaked, or does it increase based on cloaking rate? I guess what I'm getting at is it says plus 1% cloak rate per your level. Up to 250% total weapon damage when you fire while cloaked. So is the cloak rate the thing that's ticking up the Right, even more Celestials, great. It's a volley. Okay, it was a good wave 200, uh, pretty friendly. Pretty friendly wave 200. Uh, what the hell? Let's go rupture here. This build is officially a glass cannon. I'm going to keep it that way. Okay, thanks for that clarification on cloak and bonus. So fully cloaked means full weapon damage. So the rate of cloaking is important. Yeah, I think the displacement mod's a little bit much for my 36-year-old uh, brain. I'm having a hard time uh, discerning on the fly left and right whether I'm facing up or down. A fun experiment, though. All right, terminate would be very good. It's probably something worth uh, going towards. I mean, I guess I, I could definitely get used to this placement if I kept taking it, but I don't feel the value of having it is that much more than having agility and blink. To be fishing for two extra mods, I'd rather just take two other wild mods. At least for this build. Lucky to be alive on that wave. 
Better lucky than good, I will continue saying and meaning. Alright, let's just take another double tap here. More rate of fire, more stockpile rate. We were three now, 2.83. I guess that was only a 0.5 uh, increase in stockpile rate per second. Uh, that was, I didn't say that correctly. It was a marginal increase. So we were at point, or 2.77, that took us to 2.8. What? Why did my stockpile rate go down? Oh, okay, Warpath, that's the one. Never mind, that may have been um, misinformation created by Warpath. We are frickin' zippy right now. Okay, two of these fellers? That's tough. All right, he's done. I like that we're fast enough to escape the singularity while cloaked. That's pretty badass. What am I doing? Help. Oh yeah, I'm almost dying, that's right, I remember now. <laughs> I mean, shield durability is probably not a bad idea, sure. You betcha. All right, I need to get caught up with your support here. Thanks so much, everybody. Netrunner383, thanks for 89 months. Terminator, thanks for 24. Drake F 78 and Von Shizzle, 109 months. Thank you, dude. Oh no. Boop. That was scary. More singularities, huh? All right. Got to say the waves that it's given me singularity on have not been too bad. Sometimes you get the singularity on a really gnarly wave. This has not been the case so far. I'll wait. I love when you have so many missiles stockpiled that it starts hitting like two waves in the future. That's a good time right there.
I just realized that the speed of asteroids speeds up the higher the wave is. That was a realization that that particular asteroid hitting that enemy taught me. Cool. Oh, that was a really dumb volley. Okay, well, it turned out all right. I have no idea, honestly, what I'm going for here. I guess Terminate is the thing I want. Just taking 5% weapon damage here wouldn't be bad either. Uh, kinetic Boost could be okay. It's going to keep rolling here. Last reroll. Alright, 5% weapon damage is the best on the table there, I think. Let's be honest, this uh, this run does not have very many level ups left in it. If I if I play really well, four or five probably. Oh my is that three of them? Whoa. I officially should be very dead right now, and I'm not. Yeah, I have done a similar build to that Anarcher uh, during my vacation, actually not on stream, the uh, Tempest Break Death Blossom um, with a build like this. It's very effective. Death Blossom in general is just pretty awesome. Okay, that was a really bad time to fire. <laughs> GG. Very glass, very cannon, very fun build. Almost made our leaderboard there. Pretty close. Alright, so on that build, um, I definitely would have cut displacement and a couple other things, but it's that's a working system. I also think that on uh, charge mine builds with non-engineer, that taking the minefield upgrade to get the plus mine construction speed is probably overall a good effect. Bdark419, thanks for 29 months, and Giesel, thanks for 61, man. Appreciate that. Renzo dropping 112 as well. 112. Thank you all for that monumental support.
Yep, that'll happen, Axeman. It really ramps up fast after wave 200, huh? Well, all right, let's head into the uh, Spelunky 2 daily right now. Sounds fun. We'll call it a first look, so did just reset. Uh, also get a prediction going, though I will warn you all, I am quite rusty right now. So I have not been playing much Spelunky uh, during my break, been resting my thumb. All right, first look going out, starting a prediction right now. Uh, will this run make it to, will this, uh, will this call it Cosmic Ocean? I'm going to give you all 10 minutes on this prediction right now. I'm going to plug in ye old controller. I also just had an idea. We'll see how ye old thumb does after this run. I think I could swap jump to circle instead of X to use a slightly different uh, set of muscle. Had a bothersome thumb the past few weeks. That will happen. It's been a lot of platforming as of late. All right, while that uh, while that prediction is going out, walking wall. Thanks for four months, dude. I am going to stand up, stretch my leg. And speaking of stretched legs, right now, could look at this leg right here. It's hanging out the bed there, little lady. It's gonna stand up, stretch real fast, use the restroom, grab some water, encourage you to do all those same things. We'll return momentarily for the Spelunky 2 daily first look. Thanks for your patience during this brief intermission. We'll return momentarily for some more fun. Uh, do enjoy uh, the sleepy kitty and very long legs sticking out of the bed right now. Uh, be back in just a minute. Also, prediction is out for the next eight minutes or so, so good luck everybody that does wager on whether our run will make it to Cosmic Ocean or not. I hope so.
Alrighty, we have returned. It's time for some penguin in the hole. You better believe it. You better believe it. Here we go. What? Okay. Let me try this. That's all good. One more for Penguin in the hole. Here we go. Oh, perfect, Jay. Perfect. All right, let's take this dung beetle. We're going to put it up the shaft. Going towards the chair. Nice toss, Jay. Get over here, you wily cricket. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah. Jay's on point. Jay's on point. Time for the daily. Yo, Wacklefuzz, thanks for 34 months. Xanatos Gambit, thanks for 48 as well. Appreciate that. The daily begins right now. Honestly, this already feels like a lot better control scheme wise. Having jump on square instead of X. Just making sense. Okay, I'll come back for that. Ghost urn right here, too. How nice. That's a pretty sick 1-1. One, one. Yo, Suprock, thanks for 22 months. And Emu Like Bird, thanks for 15. Thank you. Um. All right, I'll just leave that be then. Boom, boom, ba -dum, boom, boom. Oh, what a haul right here. Can I afford it all? Can't afford the cape, but everything else right now, yeah. Probably coming back for the cape. Was that a ton shop down there? No, that's a thingamajig. <laughs> okay, well, not getting that. I see that now. Definitely open to the idea of cracking the ghost urn inside the shop to get the cape, but not enough money on the level to make that a reality. Okay. Yeah, buddy, Atropal. Jay's the man. Oh, no. Am I dead? Not dead. Nearly dead. Nearly dead doesn't count. I'm sorry, Yang, but I'm probably cooking those turkeys. That's the truth. I'll be back for that. Actually, will I? Get it now.
Are you kidding me? That was awesome. Though we did die very quickly. Um, let's see here. Did my prediction even have time to finish? It did. Congratulations, doubters. So I really, when I looked at that, I saw the uh, I saw the lizard going into that crevice and then getting hit by the arrow trap, right? But he didn't do that. He went over two full blocks. That's okay. It is Spelunky after all. We'll do another run, not as Jay this time. Um, give it the old murder bot. Yo, Architraz, thanks for 21 months. Appreciate that. Thank you. actually down here? No. Get down here, you stinky mole. Yeah, Diesel93. Thanks for that uh, Prime sub. Appreciate that, man. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I will buy shoe. It's a tough life for the bat up there. Is this a dead end? Hell yeah, it is. I knew it. Triple dead guy. It's gotta be other turkey over here. Or not. Where is it? Alright, not rescuing Yang's turkeys. Though. Fair enough. Me and my lucky turkey are out of here. All right, so... He had no idea. I can't just walk to that. Nice. Honestly, kind of a brutal segment right there. But I'll bring something back over. Perhaps a rock. I want to check the back layer. Nada. Okay.
But I've already dropped a key down. Oh no. It's alright. Alright, it's gonna get weird. Ow. It's gonna get weirder. Alright, here comes the ghost. Considering how bad that went, it went pretty good. We recovered. Alright, it's going to be a, a jungy run for sure. Hey, glad to be here, Mozdoc. Athenny, thanks for 19 months and cancel FM. Thanks for 72. Thank you, thank you. That explosion just had a nice, juicy sound to it. I'm pretty sure Quillback's dead. And he is. Slightly above the torch. There we go. Everything's going pretty great on this run, except for no shrine. And there's the shrine. All right, how about this? Okay, I do have shoes. Hmm. Nice. Helping feller, all right. Begs the question, where is my damsel? Gotta be a back layer or something or another. Or he's just tucked back here. Also possible. Yeah, all right. As long as we get halfway to Kapala here, it's all good. Listen here, bud. You don't have shoes on. You can't do what I'm doing right now, all right? Yeah, Damsel is definitely in the back layer. Oh, well. We got halfway, and we got paste. All's well. All right, we get caught up with support after this level here. So thank you all again for an awesome return stream. Appreciate you all. I help my face. Oh, cool. You guys see the entrance right here? No? Hmm. Let's 
Where is this? Up here? Aha! Sneaky booger. Oh man, look at the size of this vine right now. Oh man. Well, I gotta play a game of Big Vine right now. Ready? Where you let go of the vine, try to grab it at the latest possible moment. Oh! A little early there. Who doesn't love a, a nice game of Big Vine? Alright, that, that is going to be a real pain to get back up there. Okay, there's the sister as well. Okay, climbing glove, great. Spring shoe, awesome. Was that a jetpack I saw? It was not. Let's go ahead and purchase Heckin' Borfman here. Let's go, bud. Up get that's very nice. I'm also going to bring the the help up here. I'm gonna clear level a bit and maybe come back for um, the Hadjeets. So you know what? I might as well just buy the Hadjeet while I'm in here. There was really nothing else to buy. A couple of ropes maybe. That wasn't quite the thing, huh? That'll do it. Feeling better already. Get off me. Good. Put sister down here. There she is. Yo, cancel FM. Thanks for 72 months. Athene, 19. Adizo, thanks for that prime once again. And Zimius Guitar, thanks for 45. One moment, the hoodie's coming off. Order of Sky, thanks for an awesome year, and I'm Key. Thanks for 22 months, dude. No, no, I dragged my window weird. Okay, there we go. Everything's right and tight now. Hey, Relic Killer, thanks for 99 months. One more for that hundo club, dude. One more. I think we're going to try to get that from the, the bottom. Shout out Rogue Turkey over here. Uh, 
Ah, oh, what the hell, let's do this here. I'll wait. Boom, 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 boom. Dude, another one? All right. That's the last. Ooh, twelve bomb. Twelve bombs, though. All right. You know what? I'm uh satisfied with this. Oh, okay. Let's try again. There we go. I'm also just gonna go back up top here because getting this looks very dangerous. I guess it's two bombs either way. Watch out, he's waffling. I don't know about all that over there. Yeah, I think I'm just going to pass on that whole mess on the other side there. It's pretty gnarly. All right. This is a heist. Ooh, that may not blow that up. Oh, we're good, we're good. Get off me. I'm gonna go back for the ghost turn too, and that way we're pretty much set up for money for the rest of the run. Just need a few incidentals. Yo, Exceeded, thanks for 90 months as well. It was a good one, thank you. Glad to be back. Hello there, Buzz Buzz. Oh my god, just stop. Stop it. What's in here? There was something below, huh? Down here. Oh, I see. Where's the big, the big one? Ma'am? Fine. There she is. <laughs> Swing and a miss. There we go. There we go. Well, I can't say it was worth it, but it was fun. Why am I having so much trouble with this jump right now? Why is life so hard? Because this jelly right there must be that is acting awful funky. Huh. Okay, where I leave the bow right here. Oh, there's a ton shot plasma rifle too, dang. Alright, I'm out of here. 
Yo, Kane Beard, thanks for 48 months. Appreciate that. Four years, Fat Aaron. We're dropping 31 as well. Was refreshing indeed. Thank you. A very nice and very productive staycation. But here we are doing our thing again. 2,715 shows as of today. Glad to be here. This is definitely an Olmec in the hole type situation. We got a ton of bombs and we got gloves. Let's squander 12 bombs in the greatest way possible by digging a giant hole in the ground. What I choose to use my bombs for. Hey, Baker Stein, thanks for 35 months. One more for three years. Heck yeah. Onward, faithful steed. Uh, yes, you do, Astronomus, because he's not in the smashing animation. Very common question. And a good observation. Give me your juice, tiny crabs. I need it. Yo, be all. Thanks for three months hopping on that hype train. Hope you all enjoy your emote unlocks associated with that. Some good ones this set. More cute animals. Who doesn't like that? Bad people, probably. I didn't know the little fish could be out of water. That was interesting. You see that little feller? That poor little angelfish? Never ceases to amaze me. Continue to see new things in this game, even after all the time we've been playing. All right, here's Madam Tusk. All right, got some back equipment. That's dope. Okay, our sixth camera this run. Cool, dude. Just a reminder not to commemorate the event with a photo inside the shot. Madam Tuss does not appreciate that. Quite the opposite, in fact.
Wow, what an epic session here. Okay, that's fine. This looks just like too good to pass up right here. Cool. Big money, no whammies. Shrine here. Still be a shrine on this side, I guess. No, there's not. Oakley dokely. You know, I, I thought that guy wasn't a real dead guy. Sorry, man. My bad, dude. Hold on to this, please. No, dude, don't. Okay. This guy's really bad at fighting the fish. Like, extra bad. Okay, you hold on to that, please. Thank you. Uh, where did I put the cloner? Where did I put the cloner? Right here. Yo, that will. Thanks for 20 months and Bolt Vander Huge. Thanks for 88. That's a lot, man. I am looking for a location to trap this help, and I think I see one right here. Come on down, bud. Down here, though. All right, so I'm going to put this down. I'm going to bomb. No, 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 no. No, no. Right. Congratulations, you're trapped. Really? That's true. That's fair. I did that. Jumped a little bit too high. No sweat. At least we trapped our helping hand. I haven't died that way in a very long time, so it caught me off guard. Definitely a fair death, though. Okay, I was gonna look over here. This could be interesting. Is there a ton shop? There is a ton shop. Is there an entrance to the ton shop? Huh. Alright, not quite, then. Do I have mitt? I do. All 
right, looks good. We'll place three ropes. We're going to hold up while placing the bomb. My timing on that wasn't great. Ooh, yeah. GG. Was too late placing that second bomb. As will happen. Good warm-up. Definitely a little bit rusty. Yo, Psychic, thanks for uh, 68 months in Dead Beef Cafe. Thanks for 12 months as well. Bolt Vander, huge drop in 88. Very nice. All right, that was a good one. All right, let's round out this return stream here with uh, a little, little bit of chess. Did a lot of chess study on my vacation, but did not do very much chess playing. So uh, let's do that now. Is this the right capture? Kind of. If I wanted a Gigantor capture, it sure would be. What the heck is going on with this? Okay. Um, let's do this again. Okay, let's fit it to screen. There we go. That is definitely not the one. You know what? I'm just going to remake this capture all over. That seems like a good idea. Before I do that, let me throw on some FTL tunage here. That'll do it. All right, I need to make a capture on the fly. Display capture, that's the one. That is also the one. Capture cursor, you betcha. Look how big it is, wow. Uh, let's fit that to screen and let's do a little cropping here too. Let me just go into, uh, let's just create a game. Let's just play with the computer real quick. Okay, fine, cool. Well, that is weird. Why is it doing that? Oh, I see. I see. Dude, that is so weird. What is going on with this capture right now? Hold on. Hold on. I think it's grabbing the wrong capture window when I go to... Uh, Drop this. It's all right. Yeah, okay, that's pretty weird, man. Alright, temp temporary fix. Maybe. Am I just remembering the wrong button for crop, or is this OBS being weird? Try this here. Relatively certain it's alt. Why aren't things the same as they used to be? It is alt. Okay, so uh, when I'm doing alt right now, it's not. <laughs> it's not doing what I want it to. I stretch to screen. Okay, you know, that's acceptable. That's acceptable. All right, so I am going to I just warm up by finishing this this bad boy. Out. We're going to do a bishop and uh, bishop and knight checkmate real quick. That was a funky feel right there. Uh, OBS did just update, so like it was cropping, but not in the way I was used to. All right. 
Yeah, I briefly read those uh, Bloons patch notes. Free Glue Gunner sounds pretty awesome. All right, uh, it's been a minute since I've done Bishop and Knight checkmate only. Our first goal is to centralize our king. All right, centralized. Now, in order to uh, do this checkmate, we have to get the king to the same color corner. Mentally, it's easier, easiest for me to do this on the top, so let's try doing it on the side here. Okay, next step, we're going to bring our knight to the center. So the knight is a short-range piece. And then we're going to bring our bishop to the center. All right, so they're going to run to this corner for sure. Interesting. They didn't do what I thought they would. It's fine. Making me look bad here, Stockfish. All right, fine. Here we go. A very fair move. Okay, here we go. Now we're cruising. Okay, so I'm just gonna make a waiting move with the bishop here. As you can see, we have this move, these three squares covered, and he does not want to go towards the same corner as my bishop. So if I just make a waiting move here, it's gonna head back up. I can reclaim my square. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, getting the king two squares away from the corner is uh, a first step in this checkmate. I'm trying to remember my setup here. Okay, if I get the bishop to this square right here, uh, we've created a cage for the king. So let's just do that right now. I'm not going to worry about being most efficient here, because we're going to have to pick up our efficiency 8 moves in, or 18 moves in, rather. Okay. So now all of these squares are covered, so we've created a little cage for their king. They can only go between these three squares. Um, now we want to set it up so we're checking to remove this square from them. So basically we're going to remove the squares one by one until we have them into the corner. So I'm going to go here and then here to remove this square. Okay. Okay, so we removed this square. Now we're going to remove this square with the bishop. And when he comes over, we're going to move the knight back here. Okay, he decided to move back. Uh, when they move back, you just check them. But if uh, he decided to go over, to go out this way, then we move the king over, and then there's a maneuver where we bring the bishop back to this square um, to cut him off. But this way is easier. There we go. So now you can see you've removed this square, this square, and this square so far. Uh, now we're going to bring the king in front of the knight to stop him from running here. Okay, he went back, so now we check. Now we've removed these four. I think waiting move here is fine. We want him to go over again so I can bring the knight out. Um, actually, let me think about this for a sec. This is what happens when you don't practice this for a minute. Yo, Pyrojo, thanks for 77 months. Kelteron, thanks for 56. And Cranky Old Gnome, thanks for 71. 
So what happens if I go here right now? Then he goes here. I go here. Yeah, we're going to lose him. I got to do a waiting move right now. Right here. So we're keeping this square covered so we can't go back this way. Same process here. We're going to move the knight when he moves the king over. Taking away this square. And then when he moves back, we're just going to check. King comes over. And now here, my temptation is always to bring the bishop off to block this square. However, if I don't move the king over, he gains access to this. Then we basically have to start over, which is not going to happen. We don't have enough moves left before a draw. Okay, now we check, remove this square. So now you look with this square removed between our bishop and our king, we have all of these squares covered. So the enemy king can only move between these two squares. That's it. Now we want to set up so we're checking the king from this square on the side, leaving this diagonal open for our bishop to checkmate. So we're going to do this. We're going to make a waiting move with our bishop, keeping this square covered. Check. Checkmate. Cool. We got a little slippery there at the start. We still had um, adequate moves to spare. All right, I'm going to play a, a rated 20, uh, 20 zero game now. Uh, while I'm playing a rated game, uh, I ask that you abstain from making comments on the board state or making suggestions for moves. If you see somebody do that, you can gently remind them that I don't want suggestions. It's not a big deal if that happens. Just uh, stating my intention that I want it to be a fair game for me and the other players since we are going to play uh, a rated game. Um, if the, that mistake does happen and somebody makes a suggestion, it's not a big deal, but we're not actively trying to encourage uh, board discussion. However, after the game, when uh, we're doing analysis, uh, much appreciated, or anytime we're doing, um, anytime we're doing puzzles, that's also good. Okay, here we go. 20-0. Probably get a game faster going 15-10, which is a more standardized time mode, but here I am. Challenge is already issued. Good luck, have fun, Pulma. Alright, let's go for Queen's Gambit. Okay, e6. Well, let's just develop normally. Okay, so uh, I can either go e4 or e3 here. This pawn's not getting saved as is. Let's go ahead and take the center here. I'm ready. It's only real defense for the pawn right now is um, here, so. Uh, since he played a6, I can play a4 right now to stop stop this move, but I'm just going to snap this up um, and just grab that right now. Okay. Pretty aggressive move. It's almost a temptation to take here and destroy the pawn structure uh, forever. But I don't really want to open up his rook right now. I'm just going to back off to uh, b3 here. I 
That's definitely fair. So now he's got this long diagonal. I'm almost tempted to push d5 here and just shove that in there. Right now he's threatening uh, here or even here to diminish this pawn's protection. Frankly, queen d3 looks okay. Oh, what if I do this now? Oh, I'm liking that move. Definitely willing to lose this pawn. I'm going to push here. I want to see what happens. This is uncharted territory for me, but... I like the idea of blunting that bishop. Uh, yeah, a little worried about that. Let's go ahead and push um, f3 here. Now, f3, uh, generally speaking, is kind of a, a dubious move. Because it opens up this for the king, but... I'm alright with it at the moment. All right, let's go knight g e2. Yo, knight shift coffee. Thanks for 25 months. Spike 52, thanks for 71 as well. Thank you. All right, he's trying to trap my bishop here. So let's make an escape square and also uh, gain a tempo with that. Okay, he takes, I take. We're still threatening this pawn too. Um, I guess this pawn was hanging, wasn't it? You know what? Let's uh, start breaking this down. I'm ready to open this game up. Takes back with the pawn. Very well. I'm going to take here now. Uh, okay. A uh, couple moves here. I believe I'm just going to take here when this um, breaks up his pawn chain or pawn uh, islands. And after that, we're going to castle. I am much less worried about this diagonal and this diagonal being open now because there's no dark squared bishop or queen on the board. Yeah, that's true. It also blocks my castling. Mm. Um, looking at the move Bishop A4 right now. This sets up a potential nasty surprise for him, but what am I going to surprise to? There's not really a good target for the knight at the moment. I think retreating to d4, d4 is a really good spot for the knight, puts pressure on here too. Yeah, let's retreat to d4 and double down on this already weak isolated pawn. Probably planning something like this and maybe long castle since he's blocking me from castling right here. Okay, yeah, it's a, it's a natural move. Alright, so I'm going to go uh, f4 with the plan of going e3 and then into d5. Also, uh, going to f5 right now comes with tempo because we're hitting this pawn. Yep. The kind of downside to going uh, the e3 here is that it's uh, blocking my bishop in, kind of delaying my development a little bit further. 
This square is looking like mighty juicy though. But that's where we want to put the knight. The other square would be here. I don't want to bring the knight to the edge. Let's go ahead and go this side. So that uh, dark square is nice and cozy for the knight. Yeah, that's a, that's a good move. <laughs> okay, well... If I go here, I'm hitting two pawns at once. But I'm thinking since I'm already at material, it may just be nicer for me to uh, just develop. In fact, how does he defend this pawn if I develop to d2? I don't think he does. If he pushes, I take with the bishop, and there's no defender now that he blocked the square with the pawn. Okay. Well, that'll do it. I still have this move, though. All right, I'm at a long castle here. Setting up a surprise attack. Yep, moving out of the way. That's smart. Okay, now if I go knight c4, he does have this particular move. At which time I'm happy to retreat here and just have a nice, <laughs> brutal diagonal to work on. Okay, let's go. I'm guessing a4 is the next move coming in. I'll still maintain pressure on this pawn, however. Ooh. Let's play this move first. This is blocked. Uh, this is setting up for a surprise attack. Uh, so really, he is looking to move uh, probably here. No, actually, here is the only square that's somewhat safe, and in which case I have this set up. His king is running out of squares. Hmm. Right now, if I go here with check, and then he moves his king, or takes the bishop, and then I take here, I'm giving up two pieces for a rook, which I'm not too keen on. Let's uh, just back this bishop up to a2, because this maintains the tension on the king. There's still a surprise attack waiting, and we're still hitting this pawn. Okay, he moved. That's definitely fair. I'm going to use about two minutes of my time to think about this position. Um, I think I'm just going to snap up the pawn. But uh, another move I'm kind of liking is bishop e7, because I'm threatening to hit here. And then after I take that, I have this move hitting these. Unfortunately, this knight is also covering the seventh rank square. So let's go ahead and have ourselves a pawn gobble. I'll just say once again, uh, while we're playing a rated game, I encourage you not to make any uh, comments on the board state. If you've done that, don't worry. It's not a big deal. Just since we are playing a... Um, 
a rated game. I want to make sure it's fair for me and my opponent. Uh, during the time where we're doing analysis after the game, uh, feedback's appreciated, or anytime we're doing puzzles, you're welcome to discuss the board state freely. I know that's a little bit different than our uh, normal fair uh, with other games, but we are playing against a physical opponent who has entered a, uh, a rated game. If you've done that, please don't feel bad. It's no big deal. Now you know. No sweat. I'm not like actively reading chat looking for suggestions, but um, that same note, I do want it to be fair for everybody. Especially my opponent. Okay, let's go ahead and go here now. This is set enough. It's like, where, where does the king go after this? Is he going to retreat to this square? Also, do keep in mind, I'm certainly no expert. I'm okay at chess. I have quite a bit of experience, especially uh, in my youth uh, playing chess, but I am not... Uh, I'm just talking about what I'm seeing. I'm not uh, claiming any expertise here. All right, we're going to double down on this pin right now, and then when he brings the rook over to defend, I'm going to go here. That's how I see it currently. Oh, another uh, kind of brutal move would be to go here instead. Because he can't take here, and if he takes here, then I have a fork. That also covers this square. Oh, that's nice. That is nice move right there. I like that one. some sort of checkmate here? No, because he just blocks with the pawn. Okay, we're gonna uh, take this bishop, and the pin on the rook is still maintained, so this knight is frozen. Right, that's the move. All right, what I want to do... I think I'm going to do this. Since we're up a, up a piece, won't my life be easier if I just trade this off? I really enjoy having a bishop pair in chess, but... Um... Yeah. Trading does make some sense since we have uh, we're up a piece already. Okay, let's trade. Got our remaining rook to the open file. This is the only fully open file. The B file and the C file are half open. This is the only truly open file. It's had an added benefit of uh, desyncing his rooks, so now they can't connect up on this row to defend the uh, the rank or file rather. This is a file. This is a rank. Okay, what's his plan with this move? Is it just to come over here? Probably. That's fine. I'm quicker to the punch here. Yeah, I gotta say, moving out of the way is a smart play. Hmm. Might be a little greedy, but... When has greed ever gone wrong? I can't think of a single time. Alright, since he put his uh, king in front of this rook, I'm going to force a trade-off here. 
And I'm going to do that with this rook. This rook. Yep. Okay. What is what's his plan here? What's the plan? I think his plan is to go here and try to get me in some trouble um, on the back rank. So. How am I going to defend this? I'm here pretty soon. I can just start launching this pawn, but I want to make sure my king is secure before I do that. I think the move bishop b1 solves almost all of the problems, because I can go bishop b1, bishop c2 if he checks here, and if he threatens the bishop with the king, I can go here to disrupt that and force him this way. Okay. I don't think this is, like, the correct solution here, but I think it's a move that will work. Yeah, no surprise he's going for the pawns. All right. I'm just going to launch here. Didn't follow the plan I thought he would, but, you know, here we are. Yeah. I just have too many pawns on this side for him to deal with, I believe. Okay, so he goes there, and... Uh, now, I'm going to go here, and when he takes this pawn, I'm going to move down here instead. I'm going to block it off. He does have the option of pushing the pawn after that, which I guess is kind of dangerous. Certainly fine with him having that pawn. Alright, five minutes. It's gonna go here right now. Okay, let's take this pawn now. Here's next. And then push. Or push, actually, is better. What's he doing? He's going... here. Which I am perfectly fine with. I'm gonna push this outside pass pawn now. Got this square and this square covered. If he wants to trade, then that's fine. Okay, this pawn is too far away for him to catch now. Queen incoming. Let's just make sure we don't stalemate here. Okay, King's going to come in now. Okay, let's force them back to the last rank.
good game. All right, let's go to the analysis board. Um, if anybody has any comments, uh, more than welcome to make them about the uh, game. I'm going to do computer analysis, as we always do. Whoa, dudes, not bad. Oh, there my blunders show up. I thought, oh, well, only one inaccuracy that game? Of course not. Uh, let's learn from our mistakes here. Okay, so uh, what did I say the second I played F3? I said F3 is a very dubious move. And as it turns out, that was a blunder. What did they want me to play here? Um, I'm guessing I was supposed to play like... Probably takes here, because it forces the isolated pawn. Yes, this pawn is hanging, but if he decides to take it right then, um, I can then uh, take again. Let's try this. That, is that it? Was that the move? I can do better. I agree. What about queen uh, d3? Alright, what was I supposed to do? So they just wanted me to go for it. I guess that's fair. Ah, this makes a lot of sense. See, I was worried about the bishop hitting this pawn, but there's no current threat here, and if he takes here, I just retake with the knights, um, and it's not a big deal. Okay. So, I was over-worried about this diagonal becoming open. Fair. Knight e2. Was a blunder. Really? Hi, hi there, Spaghetti Kitty. Listen here, don't claw my legs, thank you. You're just a little kidders. Just a little kidders, hey. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hmm? Get that tail under control, little miss. But not so little miss anymore. Okay, well... Is this going to be my life? You walking back and forth? Yes, that's my life. Okay, and onto the keyboard. And back over. And back over to the keyboard. Listen here, little lady. Yeah, that's a good spot for you to sit. You sit there. Sit right there. Yeah. You sure are getting sweet sometimes. All right, what was I supposed to do here? Um, I, I was looking at the move queen d4. That's what I wanted to play, and then I didn't. Let's check out if that's right. Okay, I can do better than that. Is it as simple as just developing the bishop? Okay, what's the solution here? Okay, okay. So, this is saying exd5. No, that's not where we're at. So, they were supposed to exd5. So, after I take here, it says they go here. And then I take with the king. Why is that so much better than knight e2? Okay. Okay, so... I played knight e2 here. What were they supposed to do in response to that? Take here. Oh, okay, they could have won a pawn here because my knight was still pinned. Got it. That's why knight e2 is bad. Um... Really? Probably here, right? Man, I'm all bungled in this game, dude. Okay, it just wanted me to take this pawn, so I wasn't worried about the pin anymore. 
All right, so all my mistakes in the game, or my blunders in that game, were surrounding the tension on this d5 to e3 pawn, which frankly I created, uh, I created for myself by uh, playing this dubious f3 move. That's very fair. Very fair. Yeah, we were winning a pawn there with that exchange because there was no second defender. We did end up eventually winning that pawn and then a piece afterwards, but... Um, could have been faster. This freaking cat, man. It's like I'm being stalked right now. Hi. How are you? Yes, you are a spaghetti-style kitty. I agree. I agree. Listen here. Thank you for adjusting my microphone position. I appreciate that. Yes, three blunders, blunders did spawn from one move there. That's very true. Very true. All right. Um, you know what? I think that's going to do it for today. Thank you all for the wonderful return stream. I had a great time today. Uh, I had an awesome time with Nova Drift, Spelunky 2, and a little bit of chess there as well. We'll be back at it tomorrow for our regular thing. Uh, regular streams all the way until our next Fragmas begins uh, here in several months. Just thanks so much, everybody, for the great time. Wonderful company and awesome conversation. As a reminder, going to run three minutes worth of ads here on the way out. The only ads I play for my entire broadcast. You'll let those play. Uh, thanks so much. If not, thank you again for the time you chose to spend here we'll catch you on the flip side looking forward to it already yo before i stand up here as well night shift coffee thanks for 25 months spike 5271 nastarl 85 ramrod 4265 and energetic apathy thanks for 43 months catch you all tomorrow see you then